<laughs> that fat layer right under the shell. That's the way it is. That's what they are like. I'm blown away. I think the iguana is ready. You want to try that? Let's try the iguana, but you know what? Let me get some of that roast right here. You know what they call that sauce? Tell me. Trinidad. Sirwa. Welcome back to Trinidad. Today, we're hitting up the island's top food spots and trying some of the best foods in the Caribbean. Doubles, curry goat, hop spread, dal puri, curry armadillo, and even some crazy spicy mother-in-law pepper sauce. It will make you cry, just like your mother-in-law. I'm taking you to meet the queen of Chulha, try exotic bush meat in the jungle, and to have Trini KFC, way better than any KFC here in America. But what about the rest of the Caribbean? <coughs> Jamaica. <coughs> Let me know in the comments below which island has the best food. But for now, let's go to Trinidad. Good evening, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, my boy, Chef Jason Peru. And tonight we're gonna have some oysters. We're back at the Savannah, the Queen's Box Savannah. This oyster guy, he's a legendary figure here at the Queen's Box Savannah. You gotta try it. Yeah, so we came the other night, but unfortunately he wasn't here. No, no, no. So he's here tonight, he's expecting you. Let's go have some oysters. Let's go. My friend right here. <laughs> How you doing? You good? I'm good, I'm good. You ready for some oysters? I am. Actually, I really like this one. Yeah? This is my favorite guy. Look at these oysters. His name is David. What's your name? Kewel. Mani Ram Kewel. Kewel. Mani Ram is his name. Mani Ram. Why do we have this light? That is a trademark. That's a trademark. People see the flame and they know he's here. When you see this uh, flambeau being lit or burning, you know it's an oyster man. Traditionally, that's how it's always been in Trinidad and Tobago. That means oysters are good. So let me ask you, where do these uh, oysters come from? Because they look a lot smaller. Carney Farm. Carney Farm. Swamp. The swamp. Yes, okay. So in the central plains of Trinidad, a lot of swamp area. And we got these natural oysters just growing on the roots of the mangrove. So every day he gets them fresh, brings them out, and obviously shucks them. So we have our own type of oysters. Here in the swamp in Trinidad and Tobago. Right next to it, we have you know a few different sauces, right? On top of it, more hot, medium, slight, and no pepper. Babanda will draw you thing for the back to damage you from. <laughs> what is Babanda? Tree bark. Tree bark. So you boil it and... Oh, it's tree bark. It's called baba and tree. It's an aphrodisiac, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. So when you drink that, you can't lie down on your stomach? No. I love on a pen. Sorry guys, it's aphrodisiac. <laughs> you want to have that, right? I'm having that one. You're having that one? That's the one I want tonight. Oh, wow. He just loaded that up. What kind of pepper you want? Oh, whatever you think. Give me some hot, some yummy stuff. That's very hot. Like that. No, no, not that hot. Oh, well, she puts it in a glass. This yeah. is cool. This one is seasoned, shadow bearing. This one is the thing for the back. The bark, huh? This one is the little salt. I have two lemon juice, lime. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to drink this. Yes, it first. Come if you need more pepper. Don't need hot. Mm. Don't need hot. One guy. It's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. mm, it's like a floating oysters spicy soup. <laughs> Any more glasses? Oh, is it so good? You want a glass? Yeah, I'll try it. Mm. I'll try it as well. Mmm. Nice small oysters. Oh. oh, I love the spice. Not too hot, you said. Just right. Mmm, and that bark. You can taste the bark. So what we got here, obviously, no the guabo and the inside here, the joy juice. Nice oyster sauce inside there. I took slight pepper. The yeah. boys are ready tonight. Get ready for me. Oh, no it's a lot. Mm. Just let it slide down the throat as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. It's so good. That cup in the sauce, there's shadow bending there, right? And you can taste the bark of the barba on the inside there. Mm -hmm. Everything comes together really nicely. It balances everywhere. You're not getting any fresh flavor at all from the oysters. They're freshly shocked. And it's just like literally mellows so well. That sweet and spicy makes it lovely. And then you're talking after about the, after the shadow bend is very pronounced. God, it's yeah. nice. Try it mm. I should to come tomorrow. Did finish it in the top. Yes. You're going to finish the whole thing? Maybe. <laughs> I thought I was. Sorry. <laughs> you ready? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Especially for a cold night. <laughs> One, two, three. Mm. Yeah, man. Oh, it's good. It was almost like sweet and sour at the end, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's like exactly it. And it's shallow, yeah. and he gives it a nice little twist. Mm -hmm. The spice just envelops, not too overbearing. Mm -hmm. And it just again, and brings everything together. Oh, yeah, really yeah, the, yeah. The, lime, the, lime, the lime. The lime that cuts it, right? Yeah, really nice. Wow. Oh, he's having them like that. Nice. Yeah, that's the real way. 
nice oyster. So now I'm gonna try it alone. Just some lime, and you think we should throw some, some spice in there? The hot or medium? Slight, or medium, right? Slight pepper. Slight, slight pepper. <laughs> All right, here guys, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Look at that oyster shell. Yes, oh, it's good, it's good. Mm. Nice, very, very small. Super easy, just like literally just drips well, down your throat. Yeah? Turn it out, oysters. I mean, they're amazing. Give yeah, a little one, sweet. Give, give me one of the heavy one. Heavy yeah, spice. I'll drop this guy here. You want to try a heavy? Heavy oh spice. One heavy spice. Heavy spice. Do you think so? Heavy spice. I think you should try one of the heavy spice. I mean, you only live once, you try not to be good and breathe like You only die once. <laughs> so it's heavy. Hot. Well, that's for me. I don't know if I'm sure about this. Let's see how hot it is. Straight up. Well, let's one guy. I go to New York. I go to New York um, Friday. You go to New York? We go, we go, we go um... <laughs> it's hot. Oh, you go to Long Island? Yeah. And then we in Brooklyn, Sorry. in the Jackie Brooklyn. Sorry. We go in the PA there and we do guys show. Oh, wow. And whole sea crab. No way. I'll tell you, it wasn't the spiciest thing I ever had, but it was probably the spiciest sauce I've had with oysters. Usually I do Tabasco. That's very spicy. You want it, you want it, you want it spicy? Yeah. Okay. Spicy, tiny oyster. Come on back to chef. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is that apart from just oysters, you can even do shrimp. You can do conch inside there. So you have conch shots, shrimp shots together with the oysters. It's yeah, really I, do, good. I also do shrimp. You do shrimp as well? Take that one first. Taste the shrimp first and then start home. Yeah, yeah taste it. Right, mm. Now I'll do some sauce with this set. No, this one needs sauce, yeah. Mmm. Nice. Oh, like that, that was like, no, that was sweet. Mm. Sweet shrimp. Which sauce is this one? I didn't eat hot sauce. That one. You only, you only die once, right? Uh huh. No, Let's go. Not, not that. Not this one. I give him this one. I give him. Oh no, it's nice though. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice. So you're yeah, super succulent shrimp, nice and sweet, small, but that the spice, perfect blend. Oh, it balances really well. And be careful with this fire. Yeah, <laughs> the fire. Yeah. I'm getting a tan here at this point. <laughs> you're about to go in your face. Oh, brilliant. Well, you know what? It's, it's starting to get hot. It's time to intensify now. You're all feeling it, right? It's a creeper. Oh. <laughs> so how much do we owe you for all this? That'll be $70. $70. 11 US? 11 US. 11 US for all of us, sir. That was pretty good. So again, $100, $30 change. Stupendous. <sighs> Perfect. We're going to walk right over to the coconut vendor right now, right? Let's go to the coconuts. Let's go. Here we go. How are you guys doing? Everything good? I'm making uh, two nice cold nuts. Sure, that's how you do it, man. <clears throat> he has a lot of coconuts, huh? Yeah. A lot of coconuts there. Ooh. Nice, brother. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. It's nice and cold, boy, Perfect. Precision. Look at that. Look, look at those at coconuts. That. So beautiful. Man. It actually has jelly inside of it. It does. It has some of that tender coconut right there. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. Oh, boy. He, he cuts it at he the end. It he cuts it open. And he makes a spoon. He's going to show you how you make the spoon oh, out of the I husk and wait. how you peel out the, the jelly. Let's so drink you know? this whole thing. Cheers up. Cheers. I love it. I can drink this whole thing. It's going to take a second, but let's That's do it. Good. Ready? I don't think you can drink all. No, it's just the way it is, right? You need a straw. Really need a straw. Now you gotta do it this way, brother. This is the real way. This is the training way. Show me. You just gotta run with it. Mm. That's it, there, bro. Done. Thank you so much. You just put your mouth to the hole. Beautiful. So show me the spoons. Let me show you how to do this. Basically, at this point in time, you open it up like that. The spoon is right here. You just rip this part off. And you do this. Scoop it like this. Check that out. Yeah, jelly. Pull it up like that. Mm. Look at that. Thank you. Look at that nice soft jelly inside there. Uh huh. So beautiful. Boom. Boom. Here we go guys, so take off the spoon, right? Clean it. And you break this open. Beautiful. Here you go. Thanks. One of them. And then as you can see right here the jelly. Yeah, yeah. Go right here. Like that. I've done this a million times in South India, guys. 
Love it. Get the flesh right there, beautiful. Also in Miami, we have some coconut trees at my house. I get a, a little bit every year, so. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, the tender coconut, right? This one's a little thinner. You know, obviously there's so many species of coconut, or species of palm trees with coconut. Look at that, beautiful. Nice jelly. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. And what's the cost on this? So you're looking at about ten dollars for one. That's about a dollar and fifty cents US. So ten CT. Can't go wrong. Hey man, thank you so much. Woo. They broke my hand, dude. <laughs> this night's not over yet. We no, had some ahead. oysters, coconut. <laughs> so, <laughs> so refreshing, though, right? Nice cold coconut after the oysters. Dude, that's the best thing. It's a palate cleanser. It's the best thing for your organism. I mean, if it's really hot, especially here in the Caribbean, you need to have it, right? Pretty much. And I mean, you can't go around with a nice cold coconut here, especially at the Queen's Park, Savannah. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking uh, maybe a double to close off tonight. <laughs> of I course. <laughs> I could do a thousand doubles. <laughs> Let's go doubles. Doubles man. every day, all day. David. Yeah, you're wild. Yes, and we keep going on and on and on. Oh, it's nice and dark, huh? And we're back on the avenue. This is SNS. SNS? It's packed. That's a good sign, right? That means the doubles are good. <laughs> Boom. All right, so right there we have the bada, we have the chana. Chana, nice. Then you have three different sauces. Salad, cucumber. Cucumber salad. Yeah, yeah. And a masala. Yeah. No, it's just regular chana. Yeah, the chickpea. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, catch it when you go in. It. Catch it when you go in. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. popping! It's hot. That chana scorching. Wow, incredible! And so this little uh, this little bucket keeps it really hot, huh? Yeah, yeah. So we're all getting doubles. No, we're no, getting no. two loaded and one with slide. no pepper. For me, yes. Slide. Nice. One no pepper. No no. Wrap them, this one is slightly. Uh, no. 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 You will it. So this one's no pepper, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you just want the sweet. Sweet. Yeah. No That's it. And this is mine right here. Yeah. Let's do it. I want mine. Pepper, pepper, pepper. How much? Pepper? How much? Uh, medium? Medium? Medium. Nah. Alright. Hi. Nice. nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Right here. And this is dinner. SNS double. Well, you just break a piece of the barrel, you tear it with your fingers, and you just yeah. go inside of it just yeah. like that. So here I got the bottom piece. Bada. Mm -hmm. So this kind of like scoop it, mm -hmm. scoop it in together. Oh, mm. oh, mine's so nice like, and sweet. Yeah, mm. it's good. That's a sweet sauce. Mm hmm Tamarind. I love the cucumbers. Mm hmm The crunch of the cucumbers really good. Yeah, nice and crunchy. Oh. Mm. Did you take pepper? Mm hmm Mm. Just enough. I got mild. I didn't want to overdo it. Okay. It's so That's good. Good stuff. Mm. This one's nice. It's well balanced between the pepper, the sweetness. In the bottom, man. So good, so soft. You've been having doubles over and over. Over and over, man. You need man. to try all over Trinidad and Tobago because you just don't try one double, so you have to try different vendors. I mean, you gotta try everybody, right? We had a double doubles today. A double doubles <laughs> double. Doubles. Double. <laughs> and it's not over. We may it's even have over. more. I know, I know. Every day. We're gonna have this for breakfast tomorrow. Second bar, bro. I'm gonna crush this one. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, got a lot more pepper here. <laughs> There's a reason why this is number Trinidad and Tobago's number one street food. Mm -hmm. mm. It's affordable, it's available everywhere, it's tasty. Mm -hmm. To some degree it's vegan, right? When you really think about it. Mm -hmm. So I mean you're vegan here. You know you eat meat, you can enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I love it. It's such an enjoyable street food. Like I said, quick, affordable, everybody can eat it on their way to work, after work, after the club. Doesn't matter, right? Oh yeah. Anytime. I mean it's late in the night right now. Mm -hmm. And we said, why not, right? Mm-hmm. And the baby about this is, this is still like sixty dollars, so that's one US dollar. Mm. Can't go wrong, right? No, I'm looking at paper. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> yes. So what I do? Oh. Mm. And I'm a professional. <laughs> Killer. Mm. Well, that was like a easy night, huh? We did oysters, coconut. And sometimes in them nights, you just want to have like a little light snacks. Exactly. The oysters are really good. Mm -hmm. Of course, spicy. I know you burn up your lips. Exactly. But I did. then you cool it down with that great coconut water, right? Yeah. So I cleaned my palate a little bit, got rid of all that pepper. Then we came here. Amazing bada, mixed with the chickpeas. I mean, this is awesome. So S and S doubles right here on Avenue. Got our pizza Avenue. Home of great food, brother. Home of great food. So that's basically street food at night here in Port of Spain. You guys love the video? Thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure. Come on, you have to eat, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>
What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Maraval, Trinidad, 20 minutes right outside of Port of Spain. Today it is 7 in the morning and we're going on an incredible breakfast tour. Right now we're going to start off with some doubles here at Captain's, then from here we're going to go get some coffee, some ice cream, and then another variation of doubles. Yes, doubles, doubles, all day long. And right here, I got my boy David. How you doing? Good morning, sir. I hope you had a good rest. Yes, I did. You don't seem to. You're <laughs> so what's this place called? This is Captain's Double Scope. Captain, Hi, how are you going, sir? How are you doing? Captain, how are you doing? Everything good? Yes, pleased to meet you, man. Pleased to meet you, too. So what are we doing here today? Uh, we're going to do some doubles today. It's on the spot. On the spot. Bada. Bada. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. Yeah. Love your spot, guys. Yeah. Amazing. You see? Delicious. Man, I love it. It's like a puri. Yeah. So good. <laughs> alu pie. That's an alu pie. Yeah. So guys, this is yeah. potato pie. And you stuff it, right? Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. Golden brown right That's there. Right. Yeah. Not too crispy. Still Not have some crispy. dough. So Captain is one of these staples. I mean, you see, they are always visiting him. And I'll tell you, Captain, this man is becoming uh, doubles. I mean, this is my fifth doubles, yeah. fifth spot in three days. Nice. So I I'm trying my best to eat a lot. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Let's do it. So, right there, we have the alu pie, stuffed with chana. And that's it. So fast. So, I mean, it literally takes them less than five seconds to put together, five seconds to cook it. I mean, this is like the fastest thing ever. Doubles, doubles. Like James Bond. <laughs> James Bond, yeah, right? So one of the reasons why our barra is not very oily is because it's fried in a very hot temperature, meaning that the oil runs out very quickly. So you have a very dry barra, so it's more healthier to eat, you know? There you go. Look at this, my friends. What a beautiful doubles. Oh, and it's nice and light, not a lot of oil. Yes, and it's just like, you know, crispy on the ends. That is the beauty. Is this your favorite doubles of all time? The answer to this, I always tell people. I mean, I get that question a lot from Trinidad, Trinidad oh, yeah. especially. What's your favorite? I tell them, I prefer to do my favorite put area. Okay. Because Trinidad hosts at least a thousand doubles vendors. And they offer a thousand. All day. A thousand. It's, it used to be a breakfast food. It is now breakfast, lunch, dinner, as you said yesterday. Amazing. So my go-to, I have different areas. Once I'm in a certain area, they are ones that I would go to. Like in this area, Captain is my boy. Yeah. Yesterday, Hassan Ali. Exactly. Hassan, but the beauty of the barrel mm -hmm. is it's a light dough. Exactly. But with a crunchy edge because of the frying. I mean, this one looks beautiful. Look at that. Exactly. You know, it's really a masterpiece. And I see you've gotten the fold correct. The you're fold. Days and you're already Dude, master, I'm a pro. It? I'm pro. Let's go. Go. Oh, God. It fell through. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Separates it. You know, the dough separates and then you just get this the warmth of this comfort in China. Mm-hmm. So good. And it's a little spicy and it's a little yes. sweet. Yes, correct. Which is a, 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 um, a pairing that we love. Mm -hmm. Spicy yet sweet. Spicy and sweet. A little crispy. Mm -hmm. Still a little doughy. Mm-hmm. Mmm. No. Mm. Another thing I love about this, mm -hmm. it's a quick dish. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it comes, you get it, you can clear this out in about a minute. I like to say in three bites. Dude, it takes less than a minute to make it, less yeah. than a minute to eat it. Yeah, in three bites. Done. Mm. Mm. And it's not too filling. Mm -hmm. I would say like if you really want to get four, have two. So two the natural one adult is three. Three? Yeah. Oh, wow. But Trini. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. <laughs> I've been limiting it, obviously, because we're going to so many places, but... Yeah. Wow, Captains, congratulations. That was phenomenal. Mmm, just like, it wet my appetite. Yeah, just the beginning. Just the beginning. You try the pies? You should try pie. <laughs> oh, snap. Let's try a pie. Oh. <laughs> Let's go try a pie. So, Captain, I, th I think I have to try a pie. I'm making a, actually making a cheese pie for you right a now. A cheese? A cheese pie, yeah. All right. Our famous pie. You're going to love it. Captain, that was phenomenal, by the way. Um, oh, that was so good. What a great doubles. So we do the cheese pie for you, right? I'm doing two, actually. One for you and one for him. Cheers. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Look how nice and fluffy it is. So the pie takes a little longer time to cook than the barra. Yeah. All right? Yeah? Because you want the inside and the outside to be cooked. 
And the privilege that customers have when they get their doubles fry hot on the spot, they can determine how brown they want to fry, how light they want to fry, how crispy. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So when you get it fried right here, you sell them. I want a little crispier or a little more fried, a little browner, right? That's Just don't burn it. <laughs> you see the golden brown color here? Mm -hmm. For me, that's the perfect complexion. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. So it's done, basically. It's done there, yeah. Wow, guys, I can't I wait to have this one. Some chat inside it. And when you see how it's tasting, you'll, love, you'll be amazed. Yeah. Out of this world. So this is a cheese pie, and what they're going to do is they're going to cut it open and shove China inside. Yes. Just like fully load it. That's right. Dude, I'm excited. All right. <laughs> this is Good. the best. Open. Leave it open. There you go. There we go. Oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> You want to leave Trinidad with a couple of extra pounds. Dude, I already feed it. This wasn't that tight. <laughs> Three days. <laughs> Look at that. What a beauty. Love these pies. Nice breading. Mmm, the butter, the dough, the china. So, it's not too long. No. Nope. About nine inches. Like that? Yeah, man. You see it there. Beautiful. Now, just taste this thing. Let's taste it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. That's the mozzarella cheese, huh? Mm. Give me a better bite. No, actually, the <coughs> New Zealand cheddar. New Zealand cheddar? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Which, it for Trinidad, and we call it Trinidad cheese. What? But oh, my God. Very, you, you see, it has a sponge and a... a yeah, yeah. It. It's, like, so gooey. Sharp. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you get that nice... You must taste it. Mm. It's its own flavor. It's sweet. It's spicy. It's just so good. Mm. With oh. sharp notes of the cheese, mm -hmm. the shadow Benny, giving you that. You know, I think you know by now, mm -hmm. everybody you go to, you must have shadow Benny. Shadow Benny always. Culantro. Culantro. Mm -hmm. Look, look, guys, look. Right here. Yeah, man. How beautiful is it? But you know what goes with this? Mm -hmm. A little bit coffee. So like, I think we should move on to mm -hmm. check out the coffee. Last bite and then coffee. Mm -hmm. mm. So we'll check out Adams. I'm hoping the owner is here. Adam. Adams. He's a good friend of mine. Okay. Oh. Yeah, man. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Coffee time. Captain. Yeah. That was amazing, bro. Um, that was too good. I love this. So that was not mozzarella cheese. That was something else. It was mozzarella cheese. Oh, it was mozzarella oh, cheese. Yeah. Okay, so it was. No, it's cool. It's cool. I thought so, but. Yeah. That's, so, why, that's why you get a string and the pull in it. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. so good. So, what do we owe you for this? What are today's, the today's doubles is on the house? Have on the you house, the before? dude. Yeah, yeah. You're too much. So, what is the actual cost, though? So, my viewers can know. The actual cost for today's would have been six and six, twelve, and uh, so six eight, each. 16. So yeah. six for the doubles and then for the for the pies is eight. People don't mind because it's very tasty. Very. You know? Dude, it's too good. It's too good. Yeah. Man, this was amazing. Yeah. What a breakfast. Excellent. I'm super happy. And what is nice is that Captain gave it to you not on the house. It's on the van. On the van. <laughs> on the van. <laughs> even better. Even better. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much. Hey, so good. I'm coming yeah. back. Next time I'm in Trinidad, I'm coming straight here, man. I hear you, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. awesome guys pleasure thank you so much all right dude david amazing amazing <laughs> this place is so good captain thank you so much captain you're awesome your sons as well all right now it's time for some coffee at adams i need a coffee that's the one thing i need every single morning you too right well, of course that's it adams one minute drive yeah right there guys coffee there's a big coffee culture revolution here in Trinidad, right? Lots of little coffee spots like this, beautiful boutiques. I need either a cold brew or a doppio espresso. You? Cappuccino. <laughs> Let's go. Straight into the point. No. So we just entered Adams. Over here to the right, we have a bakery. To the left, we have like a mini supermarket. And as you can see, they have a big mix here. They have some pizzas, they have kibe, so they have like Middle Eastern food. And they also have arepa, so they have some Venezuelan food as well, right? Oh, look at this, some samosas. Yeah, man. Samosas, amazing. Excellent. Excellent. You wanna try them? Oh, dude, maybe later, maybe later. I need a coffee right now. So over here's the coffee, right, in the cafe? So I ordered a double espresso. My boy David ordered a cappuccino. And I'm sorry, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Awesome, man. It was great. Coffee all day. So right here we have the owner, Adam. How you doing? Pretty good. Ready to go? 
I put on my accent for you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's too much. It's too much. Tell me your story. 92, right? You guys started? 50 years of pure pleasure. I love it. Love doing it. Today I ordered a double espresso and I'm a cappuccino. Cappuccino, let's do it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, perfect. No sugar. Yeah, yeah. That's how real men do it. Correct. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's no sugar always with yeah. coffee. If you need sugar, then you know that's bad. You know. Mmm. Nice, a little bitter. What um, what beans do you use? Yeah, what beans do you use? Lavazza. Lavazza. <laughs> Italiano. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go. Let's go. That was a really relaxing, enjoyable time here at Adams with Adam. Amazing spot. You can get some coffee. You can get some good food. They have Middle Eastern. They have South American. Big mix of food. So good. Thank you, Adam, for the coffee. Now let's keep going. Let's get some ice cream. Of course, we have to meet up with Jason. And from there, we are going to this little ice cream joint. But what is nice about it is that they they give us all the Caribbean flavors, you know, the pineapple, all the fruits, Caribbean fruits, pineapple, but they have spicy versions. You know, we're known for our pepper. So we are getting it. We're getting like what they call the pepper chow. And then there's a pepper mango, pineapple chow. And then of course the highlight for me is to see you take out the scorpion pepper ice cream. What? <laughs> spicy ice cream in Trinidad. This is gonna be epic. This is gonna be good. And right now we're driving through uh, Port of Spain, right? We're yeah. driving through it completely. We just went through, you know, basically the center. We're just going out into the main highway. And this is the highway that connects Correct. north and south on the west side of the island. We are heading for, to the Grand Bazaar. That's where we'll meet Jason, one of our major plaza malls. All right, so quick change of plans. We're gonna go first to Nick's and then we're going to get some ice cream. And right here is Nick's Cafe. Oh, long line. That means it's good. Um, the chef um, back in action. Listen, you know, obviously, we traverse and Jordi Central Land. Nick's bread and channel, obviously, for breakfast is a staple. I mean, we had that hops bread already earlier on when you did the crispy pork. We're going to be putting that chan inside of it. It's a bit different from the doubles. And you can put cheese and chow mein on it. It's really an experience. Let's go try it. It's almost like a deconstructed doubles, right? It's a little different. <laughs> to some degree, it looks very similar to the flavors of doubles, but really, it's a hops bread. How are you doing? Everything good? Alright, nice one. So you were news last night. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah. Wow, it's like a chana sandwich, huh? Yep, pretty much chana sandwich. Amazing. Here we have the bread, guys. Yeah. The hops bread. So we had to refill it in a little bit. Yep. So we have chicken cheese, huh? Chicken cheese. Any mix you want, Matt? What do you want to get? That was like a veggie. Yeah, that's a veggie. Straight veg. You can see huge line, huge line. People are just lining up for this. Amazing. So it's a chenna sandwich. Over here we have the chickpeas, the chenna. You have the pepper. You have cheese. You also have some cabbage, so like a coleslaw, right? And then over here we have chicken. Oh, that looks like almost like jerk chicken. Looks amazing, man. You you familiar with stew chicken? It's a stew chicken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a chicken with the with the gravy. It doesn't stop. Now that we've seen it being made, let's get in line. You're in line? Ready? You're in line. <laughs> right here. Nice. Candice, what are you getting? I think I would have the chana and cheese, but then there is the liver and gizzard. So we'll see which one are you want. Which one you want to do? I mean, I think I have to go with chana and cheese, right? Okay, chana and cheese, of course. That's like the traditional one. The price is it right there? Yeah. All right, so everything here is to go. So we're coming in right in here to the driveway. And we're right there. Ooh, what's going on in the? Are they really bringing a bench over here? You got it too much, too kind. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Wow. So this is like the Mac, right? The Big Mac. Like a, like a Big Mac, a Trini Big Mac. A Trini Big Mac. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab it like that, pull it out. This is huge, guys. Can this the camera? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh my God, it's loaded. Mmm. Yep. You have cheese in there. You have chicken. You have chow mein. And what we go with as a Trini hops. Oh wow. Mm. And all of this I believe is eight dollars. Eight dollars for this. Eight T T dollars. Mmm. Love the gravy with the chicken. Yeah. So good. What do you a little think about spicy. The combination? the combination is amazing. Lots of different flavors and textures here. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So sorry, it's a little hard because there are bones in here. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna dive into this area over here. Look at the cheese right here. Let me take another bite. Everything's starting to fall apart here. There you go. I'm supporting. You're supporting, supporting me. Supporting staff. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Oh, the cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice dense cheese. <laughs> now everything just fell apart here. Told you it's like the ultimate. Mm-hmm. It's the ultimate like chicken burger. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Oh the mix between the cabbage, super refreshing, nice balance too, not too spicy. So <laughs> what we have here literally is the chana and cheese. This one is minus the chicken. This one is a little more basic. Mm -hmm. This is actually uh, my favorite one, mainly because of the savoriness of the cheese. Let me show it to you. All right, it's so. extremely well with the chana. Mm. Okay, my, this is always my favorite. It's always fresh. So the texture between the chana and the cheese and the hops. It smells like a nice You see the cheese? Oh yes. Oh my God. Nice. Oh man, like a little china burger. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. You like that, huh? Mm-hmm. I like it though. The you, chickpeas you are soft. See how thick the cheese is, Dave? Mm-hmm. Super thick, right? No skimping. Mm-mm. Oh wow. Look at that guys. Super thick cheese. Mmm. I mean the pepper, right? Nice pepper. It's fluffy really, bun. It's flavorful, right? It's mm -hmm. not extremely hot. Like killing you. Overwhelming. Not at all. Not at all. It's not too hot. You know, I've been saying it's like a burger, but it's actually more like a slider. Like a China slider. So mm -hmm. stop, let's do this one. With, you're gonna do it in mm -hmm. the liver. Oh, liver too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Half, half. The amount of food you food gotta eat today. Yeah. More than yesterday. That it's a lot of carbs. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the best one. Mm. So good, right? Mm-hmm. I love the liver. The iron. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so nice. This is like an event. What do you say? Like a, another burger sandwich? Mm -hmm. Like a slider? Mm -hmm. Another nice lighter, right? So this one is pure liver. What else is in here? Maybe some pepper? Gizzard. Mm -hmm. So it's a mix of gizzard and liver. I guess it's a combination. Mm -hmm. and these are things that are easy to go and you find a lot of truckers stop at this spot. Just it's like this. a trucking spot because it's like take a long sandwich, it's like easy to eat. That's what I love about the cuisine here is like a lot of it is just, you know, on the right. go, right? Grab it, they and make it really fast yeah. and that's it. I think it's like, this is like $5, so it's economical for the average person, especially like he caters to that trucking community. So if you know about truck stops, this is a good truck stop. This is great. It's my favorite one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. And it's golden, right? And it just had like half half. This is the hops with the stew chicken. Mm -hmm. Now stew chicken is pretty popular here in Trinidad. We actually burn the sugar, caramelize it, add the chicken in it. It sounds a bit weird that you're using sugar with chicken. Let me try this one out. Do it. I possibly did stew chicken with rice and callaloo and all these great things, but it's just so good with the bread. It just sucks up all that nice stew sauce inside there. Mm -hmm. All the nice little fragments of pepper, the garlic, the celery, the side. Look at that. You know what I like about these buns? They absorb the gravy, the everything. chutney, everything. So pretty much it's a, a receptacle I guess. for anything. Here. Let's go. Mmm. <laughs> I shall agree, fruit juice. I know you like fresh juices. This is how we do it, man. Fresh wow. stuff. Oh, my God, it's like icy. <laughs> it's pure ice in here. Oh, man, it's like, almost like a lemonade. Yeah, you put it in the truck, you move with it. Lasts for a good few hours. Doesn't get hot on you. Oh, so fresh. Great fruit juice, huh? Yeah. Mmm, a little sour. Yep. It's perfect. Yeah, it's fresh juice. So obviously, you know you get the best of both worlds. An amazing spot, Nick's Cafe. We're in a... Harney Savannah Road. This is in Shibonas. So I mean, it's a, it's a, it's an institution. People stop there. You see the line pretty much every morning. Mm -hmm. By 11 o'clock, brother, they're sold out. And I mean, pretty much you need to come down here if you're trying some good bread and chana. Nick's is a place to go, man. So much. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. Take care. Love Bye. You, All right, let's go. Ice cream time. Scorpion or uh, scorpion pepper <laughs> scorpion ice cream. Pepper. Have you ever had that before? Never. <laughs> in Trinity, boy. Wild. 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 After a one minute driver here, ANJ ice cream. Hello, morning. Morning guys, morning. Hi. How are you doing? Everything good? Yes. I'm excited to have some scorpion ice cream. Nice. Scorpion pepper. Yes. So we have a wide variety of ANJ's ice cream. We have some unusual flavors like ginger turmeric. We have some pepper flavored ice cream, scorpion pepper. We have one called spicy daki, which is a pepper chocolate. We have our pineapple chow. This is Anthony. Anthony, how you doing? Everything good? 
Yeah. Awesome. I mean, I'm super excited for the spicy ones. Okay, good. Give me some spicy ice cream. This is going to be amazing. So, you ready? So, this one is the pineapple chow. All right, guys, pineapple chow. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, it hits you. <laughs> it is. Man, it is spicy. What is that one? Pepper mango. Okay, this is amazing. Mm. Oh wow, that is delicious. Yeah, I mean it's incredible. It's tropical. At the same time, it's spicy. Oh, <laughs> this is hot. My man, it's too hot. Seems like you're having all the fun. Let me try something there. Yeah, try something. Try something. Water, of course. Wait, what do you recommend for me? Oh, let's try the pineapple show again. Because that's the one that's sort of like a... Oh man, it is so good. <laughs> Listen, that is a creeper. Yeah, yeah, it creeps. It is beautiful. First second, two seconds, three seconds, and then it... Ow! It hits you at the end. You get a shot of mayonnaise, like some garlic. You get the pepper inside coming at the end. Really pungent flavors, but it's so balanced. So you get the sweet and then you get these real raging flavors at the end. Like a typical pineapple show. What is this one? Spicy dark is the name. Yeah. Spicy dark. No, well, it's actually called spicy darky. That's another lesson I gotta teach you on what a darky is in Trinidad. Right. <laughs> That's not for this show. Okay, okay. <laughs> spicy darky, okay, let me try that. Ready? Ready? Let's do it, boom. Mm-hmm. So it's dark chocolate, almost it's like a like. It, it, it tastes like a spicy duck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's not as spicy as the other no, one. No, it's, it's it's a little milder. Yeah. You get a well-rounded chocolate flavor inside there, mm -hmm. with a hint of maybe it's, maybe pepper, a touch of black pepper inside there. Mm -hmm. But it's not overwhelming. It's not so overwhelming. it's enjoyable. Because at the same time, also when you have milk, it also quells heat. So exactly. It's like trying to balance it is finding the perfect line. Yeah, yeah, that spice wow. quenched by the milk, right? This one is a scorpion pepper. Scorpion, scorpion pepper. pepper. Has the kick. But the milk tones the pepper down faster than the ones with the fruits. All right, here we go. Mmm, love it. Oh, nice and milky. It's, it's creeping. It's slowly creeping. The other sort of like, wrapped along the back. This one just went straight down the hole. Yeah, it's, it's right here. Oh, even your saliva starts to like. The mm. oils in your mouth is just starting to like, oh my yes, god. Yeah, it's like that pepper thing. This one creeps up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where's a creeper? This one, where's a creeper? It's running. <laughs> this ain't creeping, this walk. <coughs> Woo. But you know what? It's really an experience, to be honest with you. It's not like eating food with pepper. It's like actually a dessert. So your mind is still wrapping around it. And to some degree, maybe it's the same as me. Maybe I want to try more. But I, I do too. Yeah, that's, that's what you get. What are the flavors you got? What are the flavors? I'll, I'll try another flavor. Mm, that was so good. You know, it, it wasn't a killer. I think the pineapple chow was it was spicier, or it just hits you harder. I don't know. Like, yeah, this this scorpion you just feel it here, the saliva. It's like having a chili. I think the reason why the scorpion hit you all hardest is because that was the last one you all tried. So you tried all the pepper and then you got yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What exactly. I don't know how I would do a whole cup. No, or a cone. That's a lot. Yeah. That'd be a lot. How many flavors do you have? Currently, we have 117 flavors to date. 117. 117. So this what is ginger and turmeric. Yes. That's why it's a little yellow. Ginger and turmeric right now. Mmm. Mmm. It's like pure ginger here. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you, f you feel a taste of turmeric, but the ginger, you know? I mean, I love ginger. But I've never had it before, so. Really? No. I haven't. I've never had ginger. I didn't think that that was going to be good. like an ice cream. Yeah. It's creamy, though. It's good. Oh my god. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like milky, creamy, melt in your mouth kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. I like this. Oh, he's going to build one with three different flavors for me. Right. This is going to be epic. So we have the Voldemort, Unicorn, and the Blue Moon. So many flavors in here. Lovely. Breakfast tour, guys. <laughs> okay, Jason. Exceptional. Let's, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I, guess I got started before you, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How's that? It's like creamy, it's buttery. Mm -hmm. what's, what's the name of it? This is the, I think that's the blue moon on top. The blue yeah. moon? Mm hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go for the unicorn now. So what I'm having here mm. is uh, the caramel uh, mocha cheesecake. 
Okay, it's good. Really good. You're getting nice flavors. It's not overwhelming. Everything is so perfectly balanced and having a wheat for cool. Mm. It's something I really like. I, I think they have really unique flavors here. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're taking traditional flavor, but mixing it and obviously adjusting different uh, flavor nuances inside of it. Exactly. I mean, my top one, it's a... Um, it's like super creamy, there's nuts in it, and the bottom one, the middle one, the unicorn, that is like cotton candy. No, no, I just realized it matches mm -hmm. your shirt. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's color coordinated also, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the bottom one? Voldemort. Mmm. I think it's like, oh, coffee in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good, right? Man. How's that cone? Uh, the cone? Not yet, let's see. Super fresh, right? Oh, it was thin. That's not thick. Super thin cracker. That's it. Oh, amazing. Beautiful, huh? Delicious. Easy to come here and just have fun with kids. Yeah. They would love this place. Oh, big chunks of cheesecake inside there. All right, so that is our breakfast tour here in between Port of Spain and this area. I don't even know where we are. We're in Chiguanas. Oh, we're in Chiguanas. Okay, so we drove down to Chiguanas. Okay, perfect. So, central Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, so we did Captain's, we did uh, Adam's. We did yeah. Nick's Cafe on Carney Savannah Road. And we're still on Carney Savannah Road and we're enjoying uh, Angie's ice cream. Amazing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere here in Trinidad. And I'm going to devour this. Mm. So good, boy. So good. Oh, I can't stop. You need to stop. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from the deep south of Trinidad with my boy, Chef Jason Peru, my we man. Did. Listen, we took uh, the journey down here. We're in Sipario and we're at Dolls Chulha. She's known as the Chulha Kirani, the queen of the Chulha. And Chulha is this uh, earthenware sort of stove that is made out of mud clay and okay. we cook on top of it. It's fueled by wood and the wood just flavors whatever you cook. So you're gonna get that nice roasted sort of vibe going on, that smoke emitted into the food. Man, she has so much stuff for us. She's gonna be doing bread, she's doing coconut bake, various curries and dishes. Oh my gosh. Listen, you just gotta see it. I'm excited, let's go inside. Let's go, man. We're like in deep bush right now, just bush all around us. Here's their house, hey, how you doing? And right here, this is the, the clay oven, right? Yeah, this is the chula. The this chula. She actually sells these. Oh, she sells them? Yeah, this is made out of uh, mud. And as you know, mud is an excellent conductor of heat. So apart from just doing pizzas and breads and stuff inside here, it's an amazing vessel to cook in. But this is just the oven. I actually want to show you what this stove looks like. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, here we go. Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How's everything? This is no. Sandy. Sandy. Sandy Alright, check this out. This is a shulha. As you can see, this sort of shape with it. The wood is fueled inside here in terms of uh, the type of wood that you use. And on top, you cook. Check it out. So she's actually chunking some curry right now at this point. Oh, wow. And the smell of that aroma of that gravy. But apart from that, it's just the wood that you're smelling. It's just the wood too, right? It goes into the food. Yeah, look at the ambers right here. Oh, that is so hot. hot. Just, put the, just put your hand. You feel Ooh. like you're hitting this. Gosh, you don't want to get too close to that. You know what this is? <laughs> That's like the little griddle, right? It's a tawa. The tawa, tawa. So you put the rotis and stuff on top here. And this is also on top of the chulha. Amazing. So she's the chulha queen. Any size, shape, form, she has it here. And she awesome. specializes in chulha cooking. Chulha cooking. Chulha cooking. Chulha I'm, cooking. I'm starting to speak Trinidadian. <laughs> I love it. So it's like a little U shape, right? Beautiful. So she just puts wood, lights it up. She has four here. Pretty much. This is doll here, by the way. Doll, how you doing? Everything good? Yes, pretty right. Awesome. We're excited. We're super hungry. Oh gosh, don't talk now. Nah. Waiting for you to taste that food. <laughs> and obviously, I have our friend right here. Hi. You ready to go? I'm under the logistics. I'm seeing so much going on. Dinner. It's crazy. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. She wants to put a bake inside let's the look, look. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. What type of bake is this? Coconut bake. Oh, beautiful. Coconut bake, huh? All right, okay. check this out. Daiho make long time coconut bake, eh? It's a traditional coconut yes. bake all time? Yes, Daiho the grandma and then you used to make. Can you see the ham inside there? Yeah, I can see the ham. Damn. Mm. Coconut? Yeah. So you close it up? Do you know that's going to flavor the bake extremely well? Yes. So what type of curry are you making? Curry. Curry mango. Mmm. Oh, wow. Guys, the aroma. You have no idea. That smell, ooh, it's popping. You gotta be careful here. <laughs> so good, so, the fragrance. Is it gonna be spicy, this one? Mm. No, 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 not too much, okay. Yeah, don't kill me. <laughs> Dry coconut, butter, lard, yeast, sugar. 
This is a long, long time granny bake. Homemade coconut bake. Amazing. This is what Auntie Doll is doing the dough to open. It's, it's, it's a type of bread per se. Okay. But what happens is that because it's shaped in this way and it's cooked in this traditional method of either on a flat griddle or in the oven, it's referred to as bake, B-A-K-E. Even though it's, it's named bake, it's not actually like a pie or baked, baked got like it, a pie. Got it, got it. You get where I'm coming from. Yeah. So, so yeah, because I was thinking it's like... It's flour based, yes. So it's flour based, but there's no stuffing, right? No, this yes. is just no, purely no. like almost like a yeah. bread. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Getting it, getting it more and more now. <laughs> exactly. Some pasta, it's going to throw some anchor masala for the mango. Also masala. Yeah. This is truly Indian influenced, huh? Yeah. I'm sure it's actually like dried mango powder. So she's going to be cooking green mangoes. Wow. This sort of really great curry. It's amazing the balance and the sweet and tart. I mean, it completely changed the color, right? The color profile will change from like this beautiful orange to now like a more like a brownish or yeah. dark. Oh, this is perfect. Well, this mango was in the deep freeze. Like when we out a season of mangoes, we just take it and cut it up and put it in the deep freeze so that when we don't have mangoes, we always have to use. Oh man, we just mix it up. Mm -hmm. So curry, amchar masala, garlic, pimentos, peppers inside here. Yeah. And you can make it how spicy you want. It depends on like how spicy you can handle it. Right. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So it's gonna absorb that water, right? Yeah. This is paddle, dry paddle wood. Dry paddle wood? Yes, this come out from in the bush. It's gonna add a really great flavor, right? Yes. Nice, tasty. Mm hmm Oh yeah. So this is what it look like. They call this mm -hmm. a pokni. So this is the... What's it, that's just to get, get oxygen inside, yes, right? Yes, yes, that's the light of the fire when it's smoking. Wow, come and see this, Dave. The Queen of Chulha. Queen of Chulha cooking. Yes. Right. Boss, this is fresh dal puri now come out from on the Chulha. A big 8, 8, 22 inches. So this is what... This has split peas in it. This is the split peas here. They just call it dal. This have garlic, pepper, pimento, salt, saffron, and I fry it. When I don't boil the dal and I grind it in a long time, mill I fry it. You see how nice? It's just like mealy and it's just like mm -hmm. crumbly and nice. It's super crumbly. So that goes into the dough? Yes. So it's like dal powder almost. Yes. It's only lentil powder. Yes. So next up, we're going to do some pepper roti. Pepper roti. Is that going to be spicy? Yes. Not <laughs> spicy, but you cannot eat it. They're a little churrin to Bust up shot. Yes. So it's more flaky, this one. Most yes. More like a porota. Yes. Like southern India, porota. Oh, wow. That's the bake, huh? This is a nice, tasty mouth water and coconut bake. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. Mmm, smell. So good. Coconut, I can smell it right away. This is homemade hop spray. Going straight in the dough Straight in? Let's go. This bread looks so good. So you're throwing all of it in, just like that. Yes. Ooh, okay. So hot in here. Auntie, so what do we have here? This is baked chicken from the dough oven. This is giraffe pork from the chulha. This is curry duck. Oh my gosh. This is multani here. This is dashing bush bhaji. This cook in the chulha. This is chu curry chicken. This is curry sahina. And this is curry command for that curry cock. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a cock. So you know, you yes. know the fowl that runs in the yard? Yes. In the countryside, yeah. that's what it is. Because yes. of that great muscle that it builds up all the time, it's a bit hard, but it's just so flavorful. And I know you guys, you had sahina already. Imagine you're taking sahina and then currying it. So this oh my is gosh. actually like curried sahina. It looks like fish. It does look like fish right here. Yes. This is beautiful. I mean the curries, right? The aroma and this one looks so good. This is the, the this is what you call baygan choka, correct? Yes. Baygan choka, so, so the eggplant. eggplant. So roasted eggplant. Do you remember the the, 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 the sahina leaves, the mm -hmm. taro leaves? Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you cook it down like spinach. Yeah, it looks very it looks dark like. like that. This is beautiful. It's mm -hmm. like grated rice. Oh man, it looks like a creamy spinach, right? What chutney is this? That is pomsite. Pomsite. That have garlic, pepper, salt, and a little sugar. Bandania too. This here is the sahina polori. Mm -hmm. So I want you to taste it and tell them how it tastes. It. You bust it in the middle here and you dip it in the sauce like this and you pick up. And just like that, like a little right, sandwich, right? Yes. A little stuffed. Mm -hmm. So taste it and tell them that it's sahina polori. Mmm. Mmm. Love the chutney. Mmm. Yes. So soft. Yes. A little crispy on the outside. Oh man, I love it. 
But this is Sandy who makes the chutney. Sandy, you're the best. That's nice garlic in there. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's also pure, man. Mm -hmm. Sandy, you're the best. This is the sahina. The dashing bush, bhaji, the garlic, the onion, the yeast, the grind dal. Watch the inside of it. Mm -hmm. So I'll cut it here so you will taste it. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Mmm, looks good. Nice little sandwich. Yeah, it's just soft but crispy on the exterior. Mm -hmm. so and you see the dashing bush leaves inside mm. of it. That's that taro leaves I was telling you guys about. So it's a, it's a fruit mixed with garlic. It's okay. Garlic, like the golden apple here. Correct. Mm -hmm. so, um, you mm. grate it and you mix the shadow benny in it with the garlic and salt and pepper. It's amazing. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. So, it's a savory donut. Pretty much, right? Oh, wow. And you know what she did? She took this and then she curried it. That's what we saw earlier on, the curried sahina. Mm. She's going to take, she's going to take it, she took it to another level. We're going to taste that in another while. Oh my God. She's like, so cool. I, you know what? I could eat this like this, man. Uh-huh. It's like a great salsa, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a moist chutney. Yeah. Super moist. Oh, the, the amount of garlic. Everything, it's moist, it's moist. It's moist, moist, you study when to eat it. Ask Jason. Jason will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> She's the best. So what is this? Plum city. Plum city. So this is what the Chinese made out of this fruit. So you peel the plum city, you grate it on a grater, and you, mix, you grate your garlic and your bandana and, and everything and mix it up in there. This we just make polori with this. This is a polori. You're making this to throw it in the curry. A dal here is chunky. So when you am done the dal, there is more use it for praise. So you make this like this and drop it in the pot and you fry it. This has garlic, pepper, salt, everything, and you put it in that and you thing it and then you make a mix here like this. Oh, so that's it? It's like a stew? Or like what? Like, a... like this is it. You see this? Mm -hmm. This is melt in your mouth. This is what it is used for porridge. When you're eating on the leaf, you use this. Okay, so we're going to try the split pea fritter. Okay, with some chutney right there. All right. So we're going to go inside here. Yeah, that's good. One each. Yes. So you know, it's something about the food you know, you just touch it. It's tactile, right? Oh yeah. You know that you just mm. bring it to your hands. Mm. So it's dense, right? Mm hmm Because when she puts it into the curry sauce, they become like boulders. Mm hmm So the name of the dish is curry or boulders. Oh wow. And the thing about it, the reason it's so dense is because when the sauce is absorbed into it, it just gets so curry log with that sauce. Mm hmm it just melts in your mouth after that. Dude, it feels like almost like cornbread in terms of density. You know, mm -hmm. very flaky inside. That's the split piece. Split piece, yeah. yeah. And then you got chutney. Chutney's unreal. I mean, chutney. I mean, you could just eat this as it is, right? Mm hmm It's just so flavorful. Mm. Mm. Wow. So what are you doing? Right, so we have some brown sugar. We're going to add it to the mango because usually mango is be sour. So it's just to cut the little sourness. So we add the brown sugar there, and you see how it's cooking now nicely. Mm -hmm. So we just have a little while again, let it get a little more um, dry down, and then take it out. Oh wow, look at the bread, guys. This is my homemade pops bread from the dough oven. This is what it looks like. Wow, it smells so good. So fluffy, huh? Yes, it is. Like little pillows. <laughs> this is salt, the taste. No, I don't measure with spoon. I accustom using my hand. So I have an average with my hand and this is the baking powder here. So I'm going to need a little flour here. So what are we making here? Just bread? No, I'm going to make some dal puri here. Dal puri. Yes. Perfect. Dal puri. So yes. lentils. Split peas. So you boil the split peas. You grind it. You put garlic and onion and your, um, garlic and pepper, a little salt, saffron. You boil it and then you grind it and a long time mix. Then I come and I'm married. I have seven children. Seven children? Yes. Seven children? Are you serious? Yes. This woman has seven children. I have. You're a brave woman. I have four <laughs> girl and three boys. Are these the girls all in here? Yeah. There's four of them? Um, four of them are one not here. It's amazing. Uh, three sun. So this is the flower here. So the mango curry is finished? Yeah. And is that like a appetizer? Or a side, a side, right? Yeah. So the mango curry is ready. Mm-hmm. Guys, you have no idea. This mango curry smells so good. So it's green mango, so it's not like completely ripe, right? No. Mm. no. It's gonna be so delicious. 
Wow. These are wonder mangoes are green. You could use them like when they are half, right? But not soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yes, this is the hops bread here. From the dough over. We can put it here. Let's well soak and nice. Just put butter in it. Yes, butter. Put some cheese on it. Oh, cheese as well? Wow. Yes. So I want you to taste it and tell me how it tastes in. Yeah, I'm going to taste it? Yes. All right, next up we're going to see how coconut chutney is made. Amazing, in Trinidad. Look at all these. Amazing, the clay. Beautiful. She makes all of these? Yeah. Wow. You roast the coconut like these, and then you grate it on the fine side like this, and then you grind it on a seat. Oh, you grind it on the stone with a stone. So you're like pressing it. Yeah. It's amazing. So you're just breaking it down like completely. Until it's fine like this. Take it out. Put it in a bowl. And you add the potato bandana, garlic, peppers. And the best old fashioned way is with bud pepper. That looks like, that looks like bird eye chili. Yeah. So it's going to be a little spicy, right? A tiny bit. Uh, yeah, not much. Not much, yeah. No. Yeah, because in India, the yeah. coconut chutney, because it's mixed. what happens mixed. pepper don't be hot. It's more like a coolant. Okay. Like Some more coconut, right? Yeah. Grated coconut right there. Yeah. The fine it is. Mm-hmm. So that's the whole process, right? That's it. Yeah. Once it's in there, that's the chutney. No. No. You have to add some salt to taste. Okay. That's the chutney. Okay, so some salt. Yeah. Great. That's so good. <laughs> it is. And it smells and great. You usually eat it with hot sada roti. Hot right. sada roti. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. So you add salt to taste, right? Give it a good mix. Let everything combine together. Sada roti from the Tuha. Try the sada roti. So it's like a breakfast roti. Nice fluffy bread. So this is my way, right? The Indian style. And you go in here, scoop up a lot of chutney. Look at that beautiful roasted coconut chutney. I've said it so many times in my lifetime. Coconut chutney is my favorite chutney. It's smoky, coconut gravy in there. Mmm. Tiny cake, not too much. Mm hmm. Yeah, where do you put the salt? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, so nice. Mm hmm. So, this is breakfast. Yes. Amazing. So, in South India, it's a dosa with a coconut chutney. Here we have it like this, right? Wait a minute, what's going on here? You guys made the coconut chutney? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh my god, that's my favorite. This is a sada, right? Yeah. Look at that. This roasted, right? The, the, the Chinese mm -hmm. roasted, that's why it's got that color, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh you roast this on top of the chula, right? Yeah. Wow! You can just taste the smoke inside of it, you got it? Mm-hmm. Oh I love this. This is the <sighs> ultimate condiment. Ultimate. This right here, roasted, that's why it's black, that's why it's not white. So next up, we're taking the ham out of the oven. Yes. Ham from the dough over here, so we're going to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Nice, more water in. So we're going to put it back in the yam. So you're going to put it back in? Yes. So all the sauce is going to dry out. Okay. Yes. Oh wow, all those juices flowing? Yes. This is like amazing. Happy Thanksgiving from Trinidad. Yes, from Auntie Doll. <laughs> from Auntie Doll. Yes. Well, now the breeze came in after the rain. Yes. It's amazing, amazing. Love this. I love the bush. Yeah. For me, the bush is the best place. This, this is what I call a long time outdoor kitchen. This kitchen, this will right around here, come from in Shandies. That is how long time people used to build their house. Some people build house like this and they put dirt on the both side, like cement. And they build it where nobody go, they see look looking like concrete, but that is dirt. It's perfect. All right, so they are making it like this. So you're making multiple, right? Yes. I'm going to make a sala here for you to show you. Grind the dal, which they just call dal curry. Mm-hmm. Almost like stuffed. Yes. Non. Similar, but not the same thing at all. So yeah. Put it like this. Now I hear the hot my children and then 
That's a tawa, yes. so it's a flat pan. Yes, but some people just call it bacon stone. Yeah, bacon stone, huh? Yes. This is some dry flour here. They just call it paltan. Some people say dry flour. So I'm going to make a sara here. So what's a sara? This is a sara roti. Just, this just have salt, flour, bacon powder, and that is it. So she's oiling the tava so the roti doesn't stick. Woo! Slap it on like that, huh? So how long does it take to cook? A few minutes, right? Yes. She starts bubbling, right? Yes. Like airing? Yes. Air pockets right there, look at that. Oh wow, beautiful. I'm going to put it in the coals. Oh, you're going to put it inside yes. there? Inside are the coals. Oh, so you're going to get it smoky and a little crispy too. Yes. Wow. I've seen a lot of bread being made. Never seen it like this in my life. So what's going to happen is that as she puts it closer to the coals and the embers, it's going to start as well. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And they got all that air pockets. It's puffing up. That little pillow, huh? Yes. That's known as seki in the roti. That's what I it swells. I heard you call it seki. Seki. Seki the roti. Ooh. Ooh. That's what we're talking about. This is what it calls wow. a roti. Look okay. at that. A nice dashing gosh bhaji. Oh, we're going to do it with the bhaji? With the so eggplant? Anything you want to eat, coconut chutney, fry aloo, baigan choka, tomatoes choka, any choka you want. So we're doing the dal puri right here. Ham is done. This is the ham here. It's done. See it like oil. Mm hmm Nice, tasty, mouth watering. Ham. Oh, the juices. From the dough to hmm? Wow. Wow. Now the bread's done. The bread is done. That bread is so good. That's the one we had, right? Yeah. Okay, this is the dal puri here. We're going to bill it here. Nice. Look at the flour in the bottom. Yeah. This full with split peas, dal. This is what is made dal puri with. So. so you're putting oil there? Yes. That's not ghee, that's oil. That is oil. Plain cooking oil. Oh, wow. Wow. The sizzle, hmm? Mmm, it's like bubbling too. This one's the air just popping in, huh? This is the ultimate yes. dal puri. Look at that, it's just dal puri. incredible. Love the color. Yes. A little crispy, a lot of air in there. The heat, smokiness. That don't cook. That fast, huh? One minute. I cook in a pie here in the dough oven. So I'll show you all here. This pie has oh. chicken and Oh my gosh, it's like a casserole. Yes, this is what the pie look like. Well, look nice, like. tasty, mouth watering pie. So it's like big macaronis, huh? Yes, it's big macaroni with chicken and oh real my. spicy. This lady is amazing. You just blew my mind. Look at yes. that. So really long, like almost like pasta. Yes. So that's cheese on top, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And all the pieces you see in here, that's chicken in it. So wow, amazing pie. Yes, it is. What is that? This Pe is a pepperoni. The biggest one of all time. The biggest one of all times. It's almost you're cutting into like pizza slices, yes. huh? Yes. And I want you to try it. Right here? Yes, right here. Right here, right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not too spicy? No, it's good. We don't make it too spicy. I love the layers. Yes. It reminds me of like some breads I've had like in Greece. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. <laughs> So we have vegetables in here, your pepper, of course. Yes, yes. That have carrots, potato, cheese, and garlic, yeah. onion. <laughs> Real tasty. I'm blown away. Yes. I'm blown away. <laughs> this is too yummy. Mm. And that's pepperoni, but it's not bitter, it's spicy and nice. It's spicy and nice? Yes. A little smoky too? Yes, and little children could eat it because mm -hmm. it's not hot. Not hot? Yes. Love the layers. Yes. Wow. We're eating a lot of food yes. before the food. True. That's a 22-inch pepperoni. So Jason, we're ready, huh? Yeah, but the feast is before us. So here's what happened. I see these guys already started, ready? Oh wow, this is like a sadai. This is, so banana leaf. This is very South Indian right here. Yeah, so we're actually going to do the Indian course first with all the vegetables, the rotis, the, the paratha, the dalpuri, the pumpkin, the shatai, and the bhaji. And then we'll gravitate onto the other meats items. So we're doing this in courses today. Yeah. That's how we do it down here. So this is shatine, curried shatine. This is also known as uh, with jackfruit around the world. Mm -hmm. So it's curried down nicely and you see that big bread nut inside there. And it's cooked with all the fibrous uh, texture. It's all very meaty. Let me give you some of that. 
This is chana and aloo. Obviously, uh, you've been eating a lot of chana since you come here. Aloo potato, mm -hmm. curry chana and potatoes. Touch of that there. So this is curry. Remember the plori balls that we did earlier, the splippy balls that we did? Mm -hmm. So they were curried in that nice splippy curry sauce. Try that, and some nice sauce on top, look at that. Beautiful gravy. This is uh, murtani. It has uh, the baigan, that's the eggplant inside it. The onions, the tomatoes, and all of this is cooked or roasted on the chulha and then pounded. Look at that, look at the character of the seeds and the eggplant in there. Mm -hmm. So vibrant, this one. Yeah, very tasty too. A lot of flavor, roasted flavor. You good? I am. Your favorite. You had this earlier, remember? Mm hmm. Look at this pumpkin. This is just pumpkin choker. Pretty much you cook it down until it gets to a slight uh, puree, mm -hmm. slight fibers, a nice texture to it. And this is going to be brilliant with our roti. Pumpkin choker. Look at that. Yum. So this is chalta. It's actually a fruit. And this is made into a chutney or pickle. A nice mustard oil, garlic, onions, roasted up nicely. And uh, this is an excellent condiment to eat to bring with your roti. It's very spicy too. Pomsite chutney. Mm -hmm. You had uh, some pomsite earlier on. So this one has had great amchar masala in it, hence the color. All great condiments and sides. So this is the curry sahina. We've had sahina in different forms already. This one is fried and obviously then curried. Look at that. Oh. This is the, the bhaji. Remember the spinach I talked to you about? Mm -hmm. The taro leaves. We call it Kalalu bush, dashin bush. Super dark green. Same green that we're using to make sahina. The famous coconut chutney. That's mm. a roasted coconut that you saw earlier on. Garlic, peppers, roasted together nicely. That's the color comes from. Look at that. I introduce you to mother-in-law. Do you have a mother-in-law? Yes, I do. This is really fiery and feisty. So that's why we call it mother-in-law in Trinidad and Tobago because it's it just bad. You know, when you live with your mother-in-law, this is what mother-in-law is about. It just gives you pressure. And this is heat. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pepper roti that you uh, saw earlier on. This has potato inside of it, together with peppers, minced garlic, onions, shadow and benny inside there. And it's cooked on the tower. So this is the dalpuri that you saw her made earlier on. You can see the shards of the split peas just falling out inside there. Beautiful, flaky, like power. ethereal in nature, and of course, delicious, yummy. This is what you use to suck up everything. We almost forgot the curry mango. That's what you saw earlier making earlier on that amchar masala, the sugar. And this is going to be sweet and tart at the same time. It's a nice sweet rice. Look at that. This is obviously cooked down with cardamom, and, you know, the elaichi, cinnamon, nutmeg, and obviously rich full cream milk. Look at that. And we're ready to go. This is like South India, my friends. This is beautiful. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different things. It's, it's intense, right? It's intense. Um, I guess I'll try dapuri. Yeah, dapuri. Just try this first, right? Break it up. Beautiful, flaky flatbread. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, nice, like grainy doll, right? Split peas. And then you grab this and you go into this one, right? Mmm. Oh yeah. Just break it up like that. Look at that. Nice and soft. Beautiful. Mmm. With the curry. It's good, huh? Oh, it's amazing. Nice soft ball. Mmm. Dal puri. It's like a wrap, right? Correct. Oh wow. That's the same dal puri skin that we normally would make wrap roti with. That yeah, with lobster roti. Mm -hmm. So it's basically the go-to skin. Pretty much holds vegetables, meats inside here, legumes, starches, anything. That's what we wrap it. Dalpuri is always a number one. This is the curry sahina, right? So you grab this. I already had this earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get something else, like right here. Motani. This is the roasted eggplant. Oh yeah. Hmm. So smoky. It's amazing. Mm. Oh, the pepper. Yeah, feeling pepper now. So that's root that has aloo in it. Mm -hmm. That's chili peppers. Chili pepper is so good. Mm -hmm. Nice. And for me, this is the best. It's like almost like a. This is an Indian dish. Very similar. Very similar. Yes, mm -hmm. like a choker. Like a choker. I mean, very smoky, nice, mushy. Mmm. It's a soft too. Try the mango. Mango. The curry mango is really great. It's beautiful. Always with the bread. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, huge mango. So she just diced it up, right? Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm. You just gotta suck it out, right? Yeah, there you go. 
Well trained. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. He's a professional. <laughs> You're a professional, brother. Mm hmm. Look at that. And the seed of the mango. Oh my gosh. I truly feel like I'm in South India. The way we're eating here. Curried sahina. Curried sahina right here, guys. Oh, wow. Like a nice big block right here. Gotta break it up, right? Super dense. Correct. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh man, it's like a thick bread, right? Mmm, smoky as well. It has that nice slippy flour inside there, obviously the traditional flour just to bind it. And you got those sahina leaves inside there. So it's fried up nicely and then dunk in this beautiful curry sauce that is sticking with splitty powder. So you got a nice thickness, that velvet you feel behind it. You can have that as a meal on its own. Correct, yeah. Literally. Wow, so filling too. So right here we have jaffa. You know what, I'm going to eat this alone. I've had this so many times in India. My favorite was in... A uh, steak called Meghalaya. Mmm. <laughs> That's a nice meaty texture. Mmm. Yeah. It's meaty. It has like a curry taste too. too. Correct. Yeah. My favorite. So, so far. So really, it's like all different forms of curry. We take vegetables and we play with the levels of the turmeric, the garam masala, the antra masala inside there. Some are stronger than some. Some are more mellow. Some are even thickened with split pea inside there. But vegetables are really delicious when you cook it in Indian style. Pretty much, this is all vegetarian food, and around Diwali time, we enjoy this. It's a must for prayers and holy periods. There you go. Yeah, vegetables in India, the best. Obviously, they add some curries, they add some spices. It's just the level of taste just elevates, you know? Yeah. Woo! So, what's next? I haven't tried the bhaji and I haven't tried the, the pumpkin. All right, so try the pumpkin with a little bit of roti on its own. A little bit of roti? You'll let it shine on its own. Look at that color, the vibrant color. Oh, that wind. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mmm, mmm, it's like a pumpkin pudding. There you go. Oh my gosh. Nice and sweet. So it sweet. It balances the savory levels so amazingly on it. So you get all those nice peppery profiles, sweet. At the same time also, it has a bit of fiber texture to it. So it's not like just mush or puree. It has a nice feel to it, a nice mouth feel. This guy should have his own YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got... This is probably the bhaji, okay. the mother-in-law. And you can make a little rice crack on that. Okay, so I try this. And then we get you over for your next course. Oh well, yeah, I got, I got these four, right? Yeah, right, so condiments. This is almost like a spinach dip, right? Yeah. In the States, we call it spinach dip. Very similar, you get it with like some chips. Mm -hmm. Similar to a spinach, like a spinach dip, but smoky. Yeah. Mm. So much flavor. You know what's the cool thing about it? Is that our gosh, dashing bush or kalalu leaves are really versatile. So just as you've been seeing it, used in the sahina, and it's cooked down as a puree, this is the mother-in-law. I'm just gonna quickly get at this. Not too much. No, be careful, uh, brother. That's really hot. Oh, it's really hot. Yeah, you gotta take your mother-in-law in small doses. Oh. Mm. So it's like diced up carrots, uh, onions, garlic. Peel, garlic. Sometimes uh, they use a mm -hmm. daikon radish inside there also. No, it's not too spicy. Oh, well, you, you see, you got a good mother-in-law. Not so bad. <laughs> That's why. So that's the palm city chutney in there, and then we have a little bit of sweet rice just to close off the appetite and bring a little bit of mellowness to the, to the palate. This is the fruit chutney, I already had it. Yeah. Wow, that's so good. 10 out of 10, man. Man, oh, I love how it's the moisture coming out of it. Yeah. So lastly, I'm having this like rice pudding. Oh, I love the grains of rice. Oh my God, the cardamom, the cinnamon. Oh man. It's rich, right? You know. There you go. Done. <laughs> wow. No, I can't be finished yet. Come on, guys. This is amazing. I love this. And when you're done, just wrap it there and you throw go. it away. Let's get you ready for the next course. You're not done yet. <laughs> Don't you run away. We got more food. All right, Jason, round two. What do we got? Okay, so we have the honey smoked uh, pork. Mm -hmm. This is ham, rather. So, this is what we do around Christmas time. Yes. But she did it in the oven, so you know you're gonna get that nice smoky flavor. Mm hmm. This is the same thing for us on Thanksgiving. Let's do this. Mm hmm. Mm. Even, the, even the chickens agree. Mm hmm. It's almost like a honey. It's honey ham. Mm -hmm. You get smoke flavors in there, right? Smoke flavors. Nice and juicy. Too hey, it's not dry at all, right? Mm hmm. No way. This is beautiful. Good. Mm hmm. That goes some hops bread. Mm -hmm. Coconut bake. Maybe try a piece of coconut bake. Coconut bake, right? Right here. Super fluffy bread. Yeah, boy. Mmm. That's nice. I could have that for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's not crazy, man. Just right, right? 
I'm just gonna serve up all the curries, all the gravies. Oh, most definitely, I think. Let's grab this and go into one of these, right? Oh, uh, let's try the duck. The duck? This is the duck, right? Yeah, that's the duck there. Again, nice and roasted on top. Mm -hmm. So you know you're gonna get that nice, uh, bold flavor coming through. Smoke. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not hard, right? No, it's soft. It's cooked. So those spices are good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know that, but it's it's dull. Some good spices. Yeah, she it's always good spices. It. She mixes some masalas. Okay. So it's nice inside there. Yeah, that it's like a more of a gamier poultry. This one. Yeah, because uh, the ducks tend to roam freely in the yard. Mm -hmm. They develop that gaminess and mm -hmm. freshness. But it also has more flavor that way. Yeah. As compared to like the Muscovy duck or the traditional American style duck. Because of the muscle bill, it always has so much more flavor. And they take a good, good time to cook pretty much because it cooks. It takes it takes it time to break down, right? It takes to break down. Wow. That mm. is fantastic. I'm gonna have another piece. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah. Well, this one's this like. This one is the, the common fowl. The common fowl is this so, one. So, right? the same uh, chicken that roams the yard freely, mm -hmm. they're extremely hard because they're just running around. They're not like confined or anything. So, that's a lot of muscle bill inside there. Mm -hmm. It takes really long to cook, but maximum flavor. Mm -hmm. Complex. Mm -hmm. Complex. A little bit of bones. Mm hmm. Mm. But you gotta cook this with the bones because it the the, the marrow mm -hmm. gives it a lot of flavor of in course. the grazing liquid. Bones every time. This is a must. The best meat is always on bones. Ribs, right? And it's still more moist too. Mm hmm. Mm. I love it. Brilliant, boy. Yeah, man. That's my favorite of the three so far. You love that one? Yeah, man. That's good. That's curry. Try this one here. This is the curry stew chicken. Curry stew chicken. So it's actually caramelized the, the same way how oh, you would normally start to do stew chicken. Man, I'm blown away with all the different tastes here, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're very innovative in our methods in terms of how we mix flavors. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. This is the easiest one to eat, right? Yeah, Softest, pretty much, right? Yeah. But chicken, it tends to be a little bit softer mm -hmm. as compared to like the yard fall, which is a little more complex and harder. Mm-hmm. And it feels almost like a jerk chicken. You think so? A little bit. I think I think what you're getting is probably that nice sort of a robust, uh, Charcoalish flavor coming through because it was cooked on the That's on the chulha. So you're gonna get that word, those coals, those embers coming through because of the smoke it's emitting into the atmosphere and obviously gets into the meat. Gets in there. That's what makes it so unique. Mm. Let's go again, check that out. Gravy. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that, it just falls off the bone. Mm -hmm. I won't lie to you guys, I'm hitting walls here. I'm you're you're reaching to that point, yeah? Mm hmm. But it is all. Protein, right? Yeah. So it's not too much carbs. I ate so much carbs before. It was like carb overload. <laughs> we eat a lot of carbs in Trinidad and Tobago. The dumplings, the rice, the rotis, the starches, the provisions. Exactly. So pretty much that's our main pulse and staple here. Mm -hmm. So what's this one? Oh, this is actually the uh, so the oven or the dirt oven baked chicken. Oh, so the baked chicken, okay. So just tradition, uh, apart from just baked chicken, this one is done in the oven. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was like a turkey, you know? It does, right? It does look yeah. like a bit of a turkey. Mm hmm. Nice little wing. Mmm. So juicy. I actually taste the smoke in this one the most. Mm hmm. This one's lighter on spices. Yeah. With everything else. It's just allow the natural flavors of the smoke to do its work. Mm hmm. That's really nice. I mean, that's the best way, right? That'll go it's well with many natural. things. Whether it be potato salad, casserole, anything of that nature. It's pretty healthy also, too, because I mean, mm -hmm. it's not done in any oil or anything that. Exactly. But I think what we should try is Sandy's sauce right here. Oh, really? Give me some. Ah, oh, it looks spicy, right? Oh my god, the color of it alone. Uh, dude, it's like all peppers. <laughs> oh my god. Let's try it with the jira pork. The jira pork? I think you had this um, with Ben when she did um, mm -hmm. the, jira, the jira pork. So it's always good to try um, different types across the country and we dip it in Sandy's special sauce. Yeah, everybody That's does it differently, right? Mmm. The cumin, huh? You know, I always admire when people do a jira pork or cumin pork. This is balance of how much cumin. Sometimes you overdo it, it mm -hmm. just becomes so pungent. Mmm. I love it how it's like meat and then the fat too. Yeah. It's perfect. Great yeah. texture. You get a nice balance. Mm hmm You know what that goes well with? The the, the macaroni pie. The macaroni pie? Just try that, so just scoop up some. Wow. And she has chunks of chicken in it from what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check this out. There's chicken in there. There you go. Mm-hmm. Has a lot of character in her back. Right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh. Mmm. Oh, the top very crispy. Oh, it cracks. It's gonna be a piece of the coconut bake with sandy sauce. It's great. Mmm. Mm hmm. 
Wow. I just love how the fat on the pork is just uh, so supple. It just melts on your mouth. So we did 21 dishes here. It's the most we've ever done. <laughs> and that, my friend, was Auntie Doll's cooking experience down here in the south of Trinidad. So if you want to do this experience, you could definitely do it right here. So how do they contact you? Well, they could call my number. My number is 462-9146. Wow, so, so you're them. giving us your number that yes. quickly. Wow. <laughs> That's what you do, boy. Yes. <laughs> What's up there? They could call me on Facebook. Okay, perfect. Yes. Awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this experience. It was epic. I mean, from cooking everything in this beautiful, the clay. Mud ovens. The uh, mud ovens. The mud chulha. The chulha. On the tower. The tower. Using the bilna. Oh, my God. What hey, an experience. You got a full experience today, brother. Yeah, it was epic. So, it's about an hour and 20 minute drive from Port of Spain. Definitely come down here. We came around 1 p.m. we got here. And Correct. it's like almost 5 now. So, it was a good four hour experience. Loved it. Thank you so much to you and your family. Yeah, we fine. really appreciate it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And definitely come to the Island of Trinidad and come right here ASAP. Thank you so much. No, oh, I, I need that hammock right now. There you go. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> you should just jump in the hammock. Oh my gosh, I need it. I'm going to jump in the hammock. I'm going to jump in it. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from the quarter here with my boy Chef Jason Peru and today we're going to have an incredible experience out here. We're going to basically try some fruits, cook a lime, right? We're going to bust a lime. That is just a gathering with good friends and just synergizing and just having fun, man. Drinking, cooking, liming. Liming. That's what it is about. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here with our good friend Schultz. Schultz. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. All right, so what are we doing? Well, today we're going to give you a treat vibe of Cora. What drinks, eats, the vibe, organic food, cooking, and when you go, you'll see our main menu course. Everything possible that you want. We're going to have some crazy stuff today. We're going to have some armadillo. We're going to have some iguana. But first, we're going to start off with some fruits, right? All right, let's go. Plantain. So here he has so many different variations of fruits. So we have lime, grapefruit, tangerine, mandarin. Look over here. We have guava. Oh, you have guava as well? Yeah. It's starting to rain, but obviously we're in a rainforest, so you're gonna expect that. Oh wow, look at this. So open like this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good, but it's still a bit, a bit sour. Break my fast with some guava. Mm-hmm. Mm. As you get to the center, it becomes very sweet. Amazing. Good. Delicious. So you can try some tangerine. Beautiful. Natural. Mm -hmm. Some seeds. Mm. 200 different type of fruit trees in here. Any kind of type of fruit you think about we have. Watch out of you, David. Wow, guys, look at this view. Is it a coconut? Is it a climb? Yeah. Uh. Amazing. Cutting it up. Yeah. Fresh coconut. Okay, let's do this. So refreshing, so amazing. I mean, Shulsans is really pro prolific as you would see a bunch of fruits, but when you could just walk out and just cut a coconut fresh and just have it like that. What we refer to as Portugal's, different parts of the world they're referred to as clementines. These are intensely sweet. It's like an orange and clementine mixture. Amazing citrus, we make juices with this. You just put it in your mouth. Spell the seed. Intensely sweet, amazing. It's probably the best juice you'll ever have in your life when you juice this. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Sweet, a little sour. You eat everything except the seed. Mm -hmm. And these are they're in little segments, mm -hmm. so they're really brilliant, especially for garnishes. You put them inside of salads also. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. So just dive in, right? Yeah. Dive in there. Look at the color of this boy. I know. It's just mesmeric, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. You could actually. Feel the boost of the fibers and mm -hmm. as they just there's still pods of juice. Yeah, as soon as you bite into these pods, they explode like gushers. Mm. Mm. Healthy, healthy living. Super healthy. Wow. This is like a morning for you, right? You get up, get up and just have some fruit. This is relaxation. Mm -hmm. Any problems in you have in life, anything you come up here and you relax with nature. For mm -hmm. natural medication for stress. Core river and the vicissitudes up on the side, brother. Cooking. <laughs> Liming, chilling, just yeah. enjoying good food and good people. Good company, good fruits. I could do this all day, guys. Out here in the middle of the rainforest, bite into a grapefruit. Mm-hmm. So natural, so delicious. Mm. So healthy. Look at that, look how pink it is. Nice and ripe. 
So we have over 100 fruits to try and we've only tried three. <laughs> so it looks like an orange lime. Correct. It's drying up a little bit now, but mm -hmm. so basically it, it's huh? yeah. probably two species mixed together. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a cross between a lime mm -hmm. and orange. So it's a bit dry now. Yes, because it's now finishing. Ah, it's coming out of season. Look at that. Let's pop it and go up. So natural. It's nice though. I mm. love it. Oh wow. That's the beauty about a lot of our fruits, you know? They're so unique in, in nature, but then they're grafted. So you get something really distinct, especially based upon the, you know, the whole botanical aspect of how people rear them and grow them and how they care for the fruits. Mm-hmm, this is epic. I truly love this experience, just walking through this beautiful plantation, sucking on <laughs> different fruits. When you're done, biodegradable, just drop it right there. So there's only six acres of land here. Yeah. That's that's where all the fruits are. So I heard on the agenda today, we have a fish broth, which is our staple soup here in Trinidad and Tobago. We're gonna be doing some curry goat, as well as a chicken peel out. That's our rice and peas and chicken this year. Staple here. And I have some boys, we're coming to do some curry iguana, as well as curry tattoo, host of provisions. Curry iguana. Yeah. Yes. That's that lizard that's on the tree. <laughs> Don't it's, worry, it's, we it's, know what the liguana is. We call it wild meat in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, do you? Yeah, so like armadillo, well tattoo yeah. is armadillo. So what we have here is actually pomerac. It's a sort of a waxy apple and it's bright pink. It comes into season around February, March each year. And this is brilliant for just as eating as it is. You can make chows with it, just like how you've learned pineapple chows, but we also make a pomerac wine with it, which is like a fermented beverage. This is really nice and sweet when it matures. At the same time also, it could also be sort of mid-ripe and you can do a host of different dishes with it. I do sauces with it sometimes, I even cook with it. My boy here's from Venezuela. He's gonna go up to the top of the tree to get a ripe one. Listo or no? Si. So it depends on the water. Pero ese está listo. Si. So let's take a bite into it. Mmm. Mmm. Almost like an apple in terms of the consistency, right? Mmm. Oh no, it's more like a pear. Con una pera. Have you ever had this fruit before? No. You like it? Love it. Mmm. Nice and juicy, man. Love the flesh. Beautiful. It's very waxy on the side, right? Mm hmm. Very waxy. Nice color. Soft to sink your teeth in. Oh wow. Rough skin, they call it rough skin mainly because of the texture of its skin on the outside. Everything is used in that. Uh, the zest will make a really unique limoncello and this our rough skin lemons will be and brilliant. The correct person for us to try one of this for us yeah. right now. Follow up video. There we go. <laughs> Let's do it. If you watch on the ground. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, shadow bunny. Shadow bunny. You can have a smell of that. This is a shadow bunny. All seasoning. Oh wow. So this is culantro, right? Yeah. Cilantro. Bursali, it's what you had in the chow. You mm. mix this up. We're gonna be using this in the wild meat today. Mm. This is quite, yeah, pretty much. All meat. It quells fresh,ness It's just so brilliant. So you can see the, the, the surface area on the sides are undulated, it's serrated. So it's known as serrated leaf cilantro. Um, some people call it blessed thistle, but here in Trinidad and Tobago, we call it Chardon Benny or Bandania, correct? False Dania, that's what it means. So we have it natural, river, beet, everything. Come here, you could cook at the river. We are not allowed right now, but at the end of the day, you could come, you could cook, and you can have a lovely river bath. I mean, look at that water, crystal clear. Comes from the waterfalls, right? From the mountains, natural springs, beautiful. Later, maybe you could take a walk in it. I'm planning to just probably take a little dip later on. Yeah, it's it's, of it's cool, but it's so the purity of the water. Nothing revives you quite like some good river water. And lovely white oak or Johnny Walker Street on ice in the river to cool you down. We actually have some white oak with us. Correct, and Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker, very Venezuelan. <laughs> <laughs> Keep walking, right? Yes, Keep walking. walking. Looking for sugarcane right there, cutting it out. So peeling it with your teeth, huh? Mmm. So that's out. Mmm. <laughs> it's like the ultimate sugar rush right here. It is. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mmm. Yeah, so you don't eat this, you just suck it, right? Yeah, you just bite it up and spit it out. Good after practice. You Here's some fibrous, it rubs against the whatever plaque you may have present, cleans the enamel, and then you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Natural. You got it? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> the tree's really high. He couldn't climb it, right? I got hit that like a baseball boy. Some lotus. Oh, mm -hmm. mm, look at that. Nice flush. So that one wasn't good and there's not that many. So we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna go back up to the house now. So tell me, tell me, what do we have? Fish, more. Check that. Oh, guys, look at that. It has like, it's a big like noodles, right? It's macaroni. Then you have some root vegetable, okra. 
Yeah. Dashing, salad. Oh, it smells so good. Everything. Everything. I haven't tried this this yet. Not yet. Try it just now. We're gonna try it. Can't wait. This is curry goat making here. We're gonna start a season up. We have to get a little cilantro. What they call shy. Right? Onion. And garlic. We have curry. There's a little dash of curry here to season them up. And char masala a little bit. Then we have roasted jeera. Cumin. Some all pupa seasoning. Now I like to use my hands when I get in this. And marinate in here a little bit. So let it, let it settle a little bit in here. This is gonna be amazing. Oh wow. Candice. Hi, what this, do you got here? This is the goat, goat oh curry. God. So you finally get it. I'm curry. finally getting it. Yes, finally. This <laughs> smells. Oh wow, the seasoning. Got a little salt in him. Put a little bit of oil in here. Just to warm up. And we leave it a little couple minutes. This is fireside cooking. So if you guys didn't see my video with the Queen of Chuha, this is like a mud clay stove, right? So it's in a U shape. They just put fire under it, put the pot on top. Here, put the fish in the broth. Look at that, guys. Kingfish in this beautiful broth. So kingfish, and you have all the vegetables, it's like watery broth, it's gonna simmer for a little while. Five minutes, we're done. You're gonna put some flavor, where's that butter? You got some water, David? Yeah, man. Hey, hey. So a shot of black label to start the day. Black on Johnny, right, chick. Right. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome in. Ooh, so everybody just takes a shot. I haven't had breakfast. That's my breakfast right there. So what you're adding? Curry? Yep. And that's duck curry. Yeah. Duck goat curry. This curry is one of the best curries. Wow. Nice one. Well done. So you're just browning the sugar for the pilau. So you're browning the brown sugar, right? So you threw it in there. Without you, the oil. And then you just heat it up to the max. And then you see it's like almost like the top of creme brulee when they nuke it, right? Yeah, it's like a light. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's becoming like thick and purple, yeah. right? Oh, the light, wow. the light color is beautiful. Look at that. Woo! No, that room was crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, but you see what's going on with this chicken there? Mm -hmm. See all these sugars encased in the chickens. So as it cooks, it cooks with that, that sweetness. Mm -hmm. it, look at the pot there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So basically, it's enriched with that sugar. So we use like fresh season like shatterbani, garlic, onion, pimento, celery, side, we season it with black pepper, salt, all peppers. So we leave this to cook a while, and then we put in the rice, fry it up, and then we put in the water, milk, and Oh wow, it's spicy. Yeah. Let's say it right away. Can I take a bite? It's not spicy? Yeah. Yes? No. It's good. Yeah. Not the flavor here. Yeah, just the mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. This is the art here, right? Some skill. Follow my boy here. He has a knife shop. He's all in knives. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. It's almost like a machete, right? It's a machete. It is a machete. So this is what we used to go into war. <laughs> mm -hmm. A white mound until everything is mixed. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little white mountain in there. You guys have no idea. That flavor just bursting out in the aroma. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. This is one of our staple dishes. You can't come to Trinidad go now having our pilau. Basically, every country has their rice and peas cook up. You know, the Jamaica, the biryani, India, even the jambalaya in New Orleans. We have pilau, rice, pigeon peas, coconut milk, and some good chicken inside here. It's gonna be epic. We have pigeon peas, right? Pigeon peas, we have peas and carrot. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put all that now to mix it up nice. Pumpkin. It's natural, right? Everything is adding to this, makes it just even more of a delicious pilau. Or you say pilau, but in India it's pulau, right? It's a little different in terms of the way they spell it, but. Very similar concept. Black pepper. Yeah. yeah. A little more salt. So we put in the rice. That's coconut milk. Right. Coconut milk in here. Gives that nice coconut flavor. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Selling all the fresh seasoning. Caribbean hot pepper. That's the most important ingredient. When you like, man, what's the pepper? All right, so what we're going to do now is a uh, tippy tambo. So it's a tiny potato. It's a tiny tuber. So it, it grows just like potatoes. This one, it comes in season around this time. And uh, you're going to love them. You peel it and then you eat it. I know we need to salt the water, David. Okay. Just add a little touch of it inside it. And some seasoning. Oh, so many unique dishes, huh? So we just add a little bit of minced garlic, minced ginger, minced celery, minced shallow then inside it. Every water. That's how you impregnate flavor. You cover it down and let it go for about 45 minutes to an hour. And you're gonna taste what this is. Now we're doing something really special. We're chopping up the iguana. Look at this. The bones are very hard. As you see. After a little force to get it done. Bones are not soft like, like 
chicken bones. Sí. Look at the tail. Okay, yeah, that's some, some meat for This is the first for me. This is like super wild game. Yeah. This little piece here, this is the tester. When you're cooking it and this starts to shred up, it's finished cooked. That's when you need to stand there. <laughs> wow, it came out alive. Okay, so you're gonna flour it? Yeah. yeah okay. To wash it, to wash it. Got it. Any fine bones will stink, will drop to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Nice. So he's using flour to clean it. And the reason for that is that back then, you know, the slaves didn't have anything else, so they used this and then it helped rinse through and get rid of some of the bones, right? A lot of fine bones. I'm char masala, salt, a little bit of black pepper. That beautiful seasoning, huh? Yep. So we have garlic, we have a few different peppers in there. Ginger, um, shadabeni, onion, tomatoes. Tomato. That's it. Okay, so you're also doing a fish curry. Um, no, not curry. Um, steam with tomatoes and onions. Okay. Same treatment. He just cleans it, breaks it apart, and the color changes, right? Uh, don't wash it. Over wash it so it get too. Um, you don't want it to get too. Wash out all the flavor. Just you know, slightly snapper. A snapper? Okay. Yeah, you have a nice bone in the middle. The yeah, spine we're going this right was through. Shot, um, on Sunday. Oh wow. So it's fresh. I use every part. Bones, head. But that's where all the flavor is. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Just salt and black pepper. I can't tell you how good it smells. It smells too good. I mean, I smell it from right here. A little bit of lemon. A little bit of lemon, so it breaks down a little bit, right? Yeah. Take a smell. Smell. I would eat it raw, man. <laughs> That's so good. This is going to be the best right here. Oh, yeah. Yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can all that. All that. Look at that. All those noodles, beautiful noodles, huh? All the vegetables, the fish, the noodles. So this is what we call ground provision in Trinidad and Tobago. Nothing is as good if you don't have it. Dashin potato, sweet potato, okras, mm -hmm. carrots. This is like a good, a good revival after a night out. This, this is like the the ultimate hangover cure. No, David, I'm making up. Yes, sir. We fire that. Oh, I tasted it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the broth. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Push it a bit towards me. No. Special flavor for you. Okay, so he added some like different type of beautiful lime with some spicy pepper. Oh my god. Then enhance the broth. Oh, the broth is insane. You're gonna mm. need this later. I'm gonna need it for sure. I'm just gonna keep drinking from here. I love how they put in these massive giant cups, right? Little bowls. Not little bowls. Massive bowls. What am I saying? <laughs> it's an explosion of flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is actually kingfish. It's our pride fish in Trinidad and Tobago. King Marlin. Mm -hmm. Right here. Inside here you have sweet potatoes. You have dumplings. We put macaroni inside there also. But what makes the broth so prolific mm -hmm. is the fresh garlic, mm -hmm. the celery, the onions, the shadow and benny, the peppers, the pimentos inside there. It just makes it explosive. Mm -hmm. When you look at the character of the fish. I'll rank this number one. Number, number one. one fish soup of all time. I haven't even touched any of the vegetables yet. The food just gets progressively better and better. It does. Let me just say something. Whenever guys are liming, chilling, talking, drinking, cooking, mm -hmm. The food is just propelled with even more great fl with greater flavor. It's usually when alcohol is involved. Exactly. It numbs the senses, right? Mm -hmm. So we tend to put a little more seasoning inside there. Mm -hmm. It just makes it more explosive. I mean, I love what he added, that extra little dressing there. It was just basically lime and peppers. My friends, this is ridiculous. I love this right here. It's a potato, but it's infused with a broth. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Come right here. We have a lot of huge macaroons, like almost like pasta, right? The best fish soup ever. This is amazing. Careful with this big bone, right? The spine. It's going. It's the best. The best ever. Dude, this and this sweet sweet potato is ridiculous right here. Alright, I'm gonna drink the rest of this broth. I'm gonna go down to see how they go on it. It's cooked. Wow, look at me. Oh, I heat up. <laughs> oh, I heat it up. How you doing, good? Good, man, cool. Oh, I'm ready for that iguana. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff down there, boy. I'm going down there. Yeah. Let's see where it is. Hello. Wow, right here. Now, this is a cookout, right? This is a lime. You set this up right here, right now? Chow! This is what you call a river lime. The river lime, I like it. Curry with um, some jira and black masala. It smells great. It smells amazing. Yeah. 
Beautiful curry. Oh, right here on the stones. The stones are hot. And that's the iguana, right? Yeah, right here, so I'm not even. So how long does it take to cook this? Maybe an hour. Hour. So what are the ingredients again? We have garlic, we have peppers. Ginger, charabeni, onion, tomato. There's one thing Mustak does is a really, really great uh, curry iguana. And the beauty about this, obviously, with the fire side, when we speak about all that great wood, mm -hmm. that is going to add flavor. Yeah, so it's bamboo, right? Right on two, three stones right here? Three stones, yeah. Natural cooking. Natural cooking. And you cover it, and now? So it's just going to steam for about an hour, yeah. and then it's done. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What else are we doing over there? Armadillo. Let's go. Today we cook the armadillo on a truck rim. This is the best mobile cooker, cooker it have. Couple pieces of firewood, and you're mobile anywhere, basically anywhere you could cook. So today, check out the beautiful scene by the river. So we're going to put on our armadillo today, curry tattoo. So we got some cumin seeds right there. So we have some green habanero peppers, pimento, onion, garlic, curry powder, jeera, and saffron powder. Oh man, I can't smell it. So it's green habanero, you said, right? Yeah, yeah it's gonna be a nice and spicy. It's be good. Curry armadillo, first time for me. This does remind me of like a, a roast, right? Yeah. So there's two types of curries. There's you know regular curry, which is a little more moist, and then this is more of a dry, right? So it's roasted. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. Like standing right over the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna add some water? Yeah. Now that's like a beef roast. I mean, the color, everything, it reminds me of a beef roast from Kerala. Beautiful, nice and clumpy. Armadillo. Yeah, check it out. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. So it takes a nice color. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, we're gonna taste it. Yeah. We got a little taste. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that was hot. Mm. Oh. Nice curry. It's very light. It's very light. Yeah. It's a mild curry. Last key ingredient. Not much. Just like that. Iguana is done. Again. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, so much flavor. Mmm. Oh man, yeah, the milk. It helped out a lot, right? Yeah. Changed everything. Plus, I put some fresh seeds in and put that stuff in the end. It's a nice, light curry, and then this is enhanced flavor with yeah. coconut, right? Flavor out of the meat rather than disguise it with a lot of curry. And yeah. yeah. So, I like to taste the flavor of the meat you're cooking. We're going to make something called yam oil dung, salt fish. This is a seasonal food. So, you can go anywhere and harvest this right now. And it's a staple, it's a staple right through. It's a type of a nice tumor. Yeah, it's a nice root vegetable. Yes. Well, it melts down, I guess, the consistency of mashed potato. I've tried it going before in Miami because we have a lot of iguanas, they're invasive. So he said that, you know, it's basically you have the spine, right? So you have the meat on the sides. Oh, wow. Mmm. Also, meat. Mmm. Very nice. It's nice, light curry. Mmm. Whoa. It's very muscular, right? Mm -hmm. Get in here. This is amazing. Mm. I thought you were going to have almost no meat. There's a lot here. Normally in Miami, how, they cook, how, how you have it? Put it on a stick, put it on the grill. That's the tail right there. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not a crazy curry. More light curry. Mm -hmm. More and simple, very simple. And when you're done here in the jungle. <laughs> That's some good iguana, boy. <laughs> We're gonna carry on a diving trip, but no time. That's the thing about our, our fish here in the Caribbean, you know. It has so much character. Snapper, kingfish, grouper. Moose is doing snapper today, and just look at the color of that. Just, you could just tell it's fresh. And the way he cuts up the ingredients in terms of the garlic, the onions, look at the tomatoes, are resplendent. It looks. Our food is so brilliant, so colorful, so visually interesting here in the Caribbean that you cannot help but just fall in love with it. Not only with the flavor, but also the way it looks. It's a carnival. I'm getting water straight from the river. Look guys, the armadillo's ready. Oh, right there. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, so vibrant. Okay guys, we're gonna start off with the armadillo. Also known as tattoo here in Trinidad. As you can see the shell on the outside, that's where the armadillo folds up, right? Mm -hmm. That's a protective shell. Now it has a layer of fat underneath this that okay. just makes it so delicious and fatty. So the layer's right under the shell, right? So you're gonna hold the shell like that and okay. just go. Mm. So good, right? Mm-hmm. Lots of muscle in here. Yeah, that's where the flavor resides. That's mm. the tail. Try a piece with the meat. Oh wow! You can't help just suck out the, the yeah. essence of the curry inside there, right? Mm -hmm. And right here we have the meat, right? Mm. 
Beautiful, right? So I'm gonna do a roast. Mmm, the creamy. Look at that shell. It's amazing. I love that it's a roast because you have all that curry built all around it. The thing about it is that wild meat tends to be a gamey mm -hmm. and fresh, but sometimes when you treat it with a good curry, you always kill that sort of freshness. All right, I'm gonna have more piece. Have to. That's yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Organic, straight to the side. That fat layer right under the shell. That's the way it is. That's it's what it is. Right. I'm blown away. I think the iguana is ready. You want to try that? Let's try the iguana, but you know what? Let me get some of that roast right here. You know what they call that sauce? Tell me. Trinidad. Surwa. Surwa. Yeah. It's a nice thick sauce. Amazing. Surwa. I love this place. And right here we have the iguana. Look at that. And this is more of a light curry. Let's get some of this. So we have the bone like I tried earlier, right? So this is the tail right here. Have some. How many times do you eat this a year? Hmm. Can't check. Yeah, mm. more, a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the iguana like more invasive here, like it is in Florida or no? I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was, I know. Mmm. It's nice and gamey. Mm-hmm. In terms of meat, what it tastes like, I wouldn't say it's like chicken, because it's a little more tender, right? It tastes like chicken, but chicken doesn't taste like it. <laughs> right? I like that, yeah. Wow. I like the milkiness to this um this coconut, curry. Coconut milk. Mm-hmm. Oh, ribs. Look, at this, look at this right here, the rib. Well, I gotta congratulate you. This is amazing. This is too good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Well, I thought it was gonna be where that's meat, but no, it has a lot of meat. Yeah. And this wasn't a big, big one, no, right? Not a big one, though. No. Mmm. And this is the ribs? Yeah. Actually, the small one and the big one have two, two different tastes. Actually, tastes like two different animals. Is the smaller one more like, like sweet or no? More sweet and more white. And when it gets bigger, the meat gets a little more darker. The same thing with every animal, right? So when you eat like a veal, you know, baby cow, yeah. it'll be sweeter because obviously it's just been drinking milk. Same thing with lamb, right? Yeah, the meat is more pink and the big cow is uh, more dark color. Yeah. More darker. So wow. I, I like the ribs the most actually. I mm -hmm. just sit down and eat the meat. Oh, you just suck it out, all right? Oh my gosh, that is so good. Let's gotta get in here and pull, right? Tiny ribs, look at this. How tiny the rib cage is. All right, so just rip, break through. No, rip like this. With the teeth with going through the arm, the ribs like that. So. Right, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh. Now you're getting meat. <laughs> now you're getting the meat. You know what? I'm gonna have to have some more of this one. I want more of both. They're ridiculous. Mm. Wild game in Trinidad. <laughs> Alright, let's go up. I'm gonna do iguana. Done. Next we're gonna try the goat pilau. Tippy time but to try curry goats, host of other items. I think we have the fish pot already, right? Yeah. And we, of course, we have the snapper that uh, boosts this. It's called tipi tambo. This is what we were boiling earlier on. Ashik did this with the salt, water, as well as the minced garlic and onions and shallow veni inside there. Mm -hmm. Peel it to remove some of the skin. Almost like bread nuts. Yeah. Try it. Mm -hmm. It's like the waxy. Yeah, it's waxy. It's no more of a dense potato. Like a dense potato, yeah. Mm, I have another one. Great snack. So just peel it, right? Like full taba? Sometimes you could even put the whole thing in your mouth, chew okay. it up, and just spit out the skin out. Because the skin is indigestible. Pretty much, if you just bite it up, the skin is going to be in your mouth. What's this? Spiwa. Let's try one. Let me try one with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, it's good. It's good? Boil well. Okay. Boil well. Tastes very good too, eh? Very good. So you gotta peel it, right? Right. Very well. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, man. Good. Good. Very nice. Curry go. Good. Here we go. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Fat, meaty. Oh, the curry. Oh, it's insane. Ooh, still scorching hot. Mm-hmm. Right? Mmm. Flavor? So much flavor. You got some beans in here? A little bit of bones? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What you missing here now? What you tell me? Nothing, just some food. <laughs> nice fun. <laughs> Three. Mmm. I think the only thing left would be to add the pulao on the side right. so you can soak up the gravy, right? What about some lovely, you see how the bamboo infused into the goat? You taste oh. in the bamboo? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Has that smoky taste, right? Yeah. Mm. So you only use bamboo? And obviously you have a lot of bamboo. Yeah. Natural nature. So we use. Dude, you're too much. You're too much. And fresh salad from the land. Thank you so much. You want to try some more curry goat on top of that? You gave us a spoon, but you know we don't need a spoon. We're no. just going to go in here. Yeah, let's go in. Oh, you have the... Mix up everything with the curry, the pilau. I mean, it's separate, but you can try. Mm -hmm. See that? Oh, this is so good. Look at that. Mmm, wow, that rice. Oh my god. So it reminds me of some of the rice dishes I've had in like Latin America. Mm -hmm. You know, a little more mixed, right? A little more moist. Right. Mmm. That sugar at the beginning, though, that brown sugar. Right, that's it throughout. Mm -hmm. Lovely sugar mixed with this. You get all the flavors in there. Oh Curry goat mixed with pilau now. Mm -hmm. You're not so really supposed it. to use it too, but it's an infusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think it's good because you're soaking up all that gravy mm -hmm. from the from the curry goat. All right. Now go curry, right? Curry goat. Curry goat. I'm blown away. This is so good. And right here with a nice piece of chicken. Oh yeah. It's good. Oh. So nice, tender. Melts away. Oh. Melts away. This is the best. And then eat with hands, just like this. Mmm. That's so solid inside. So you have some beans in the curry goat, right? right. Peas. Fresh pigeon peas. peas. Pigeon peas. So what's pigeon peas? That's normal peas that you get out of the land here. Yeah, we plant. Okay. They call it pigeon peas in Trinidad. <laughs> I'm blown away by this food. Wow. I love this rice dish. Good. Good mix, right? You have some veggies in there. Everything. Salad, fresh salad. Mm -hmm. salad everything you have. Mm-hmm. Look at the mountain here. So what do you think? Best curry of all time. Mm. Curry goat. Wow. Mmm. This rice dish, right? So good. So unique. I think that brown sugar. How was the beginning? Yes. No? That's what you have to use, brown sugar, nice brown sugar, just to... Incredible brown sugar. Yeah. And like, right here, literally this is the goat, right? Yeah. So you want some more? No, you can try. No? You organize. I'm just going to put some more right there, boom. Mm -hmm. Yes, man, yes. So soft. So good. Mmm, the gravy. Get your hands into that. Food. Yeah, and then I just like move over the rice and mm -hmm. soak it. And I get some cucumber in there, some tomato. You're going to get some bones in here because... Of the of the goat, so you just break it up and right. move it, right? By the way, I love your property. Your property is amazing. Like I would live here, just jump into that river every day, <laughs> early morning. So today I'm here with all the chefs. We're eating everything together. Bruce, what do we got here? Goat belly. So tripe, goat belly, curry, right? Somewhat. So we just grab a piece, right? Mm -hmm. Which piece do you like the most? It's all the same, right? All the same. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Nice, top. Mmm. Not so tough, so it's all the flavors. Mm -hmm. Curry, pepper. It's very chewy. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. This is more like a, like, almost like a dry roast. Mmm, -hmm. mm, so good. This is straight up stomach. Nice cutters. You feel like a snack. Mmm, that piece felt like very spongy. Mm -hmm. That piece right here, right there, look at that. Mm -hmm. That is the stomach. That's the outer layer, right? So a lot of people don't like organs. I love it. Stomach, heart, liver, intestine, kidney. Give me all of it. Delicious. Mm. It's nice and mellow. It's not too hot. Our last dish is the fish, steamed fish with tomatoes, right? Mm -hmm. And onions. So how do we get in? Just go in here, mm -hmm. pull it apart. Is there a lot of bones in here? Just a center bone. And what fish is this? Snapper. It's a snapper, right. So usually it's kingfish. You also have snapper mm -hmm. in, uh, in Trinidad, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's a buttery fish, man. Yeah. This is so nice, so light. So it's like a light gravy yeah. with tomatoes and onions. Yeah. And garlic as well. Yeah. Simple dish. Mm-hmm. Mm. Simple, healthy. Like if you want to eat really, really healthy here in Trinidad, go for this, right? Because usually we're having so many carbs between doubles, bacon, shark, roadies. Mmm. Oh, I love it. I'm making almost any bones. Right here's a little bone, right there. 
Oh, it's so nice and light, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, super light gravy. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Bon. Wow. Oh, man. This is an amazing fish. Congratulations. The iguana and this? Man, you're a master. And he's not even a chef. Mm -hmm. Not professionally, obviously. <laughs> you're a knife master, right? I'm dumpling, put this on top for breakfast. Yeah. This is an amazing dish. Congratulations. That was our lime up cora, all those great wild meats. I mean, Schultz pilau, fish broth, we did the curry goat, the armadillo tattoo, you did the iguana, the goat belly. I mean, it was so much, man. We loved it. This is what we do here in Trinidad and Tobago. We just chill out, enjoy each other's company. Good food, good people, good culture, and of course, good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Tobago. Let's go. guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Today I'm super excited because I'm eating KFC in Trinidad. If you guys don't know about KFC here on this island, it was ranked tastiest KFC on earth. They have 60 locations. I'm here at one of their newest ones at the movie town area or complex. And here we have Jillian. Jillian, how you doing? I'm great, David. Hi, I'm Jillian. I'm the marketing manager for this beautiful Twin Island, Trinidad and Tobago. And welcome to the tastiest KFC in the world. So David, what I'm going to do to you, with you right now, is we're going to go inside in our back of house and we're going to taste our famous chicken. We're going to taste the 11 herbs and spices famous chicken. But not only that, hot and spicy. Trinidad was known for hot and spicy. And of course, the Zinger sandwich. So let's go. As soon as you walk into KFC, just like every other KFC, right? You go straight to the counter, place your order. You have the classic combos, sandwiches, chicken share, buckets. Zinga sandwiches. Zinga sandwiches. Hi guys. How are you doing? Yeah, Everything good? Fine. Okay, so we're going to the back. Yeah. We're going to see how you guys fry some chicken. Right. So 11 seasons. 11 herbs. 11 herbs and spices. spices. This is an all original chicken. My man, how are you, you doing? Everything good? Everything's good, man. All right, all right. Welcome to KFC. This is our um, Thank you. How is everything good? Good. Great. Awesome. So you show me. What are we doing here? We're going to be preparing our original recipe chicken. Right now we're in the process of breading the chicken. Oh. We love the original chicken as we bread it. So this is the original chicken? This is the original chicken. Okay, it's the side breast, the center breast, the legs, and the thighs. Black pepper seasoning is what they're known for in the original recipe chicken. In the original recipe chicken, that's yes. the name of it, all right, yes. okay. Sorry guys, it's been a while since I've had KFC. Yes. I think it's been like two or three years. Uh, so we are now about to drop the chicken. To put the chicken, place it in the pot to cook. Pressure fire that we're going to submerge the chicken in to cook the chicken for 16 minutes. 16? Yes. Well, that was easy. Yes. That's it, 16 minutes and it's ready to go. That's right, ready to go. Okay. Yeah. And that's how you make all your chicken, right? Yes. Always batter, right? So yes. flouring, yes. then it goes straight into the pressure fryer. Yes. So if you guys never seen this, this is a pressure fryer. So it's a pressure cooker yes. that it has a fryer inside, yes. right? So instead of just dropping it in, it's frying and pulled out, it's like submerged yes. and it's pushed down, right? Yes. So right here they're baking the biscuits. Yes. We're going to mix the butter for the hot and spicy chicken. Okay, perfect. So you're going to see the method of making spicy bread and mix. Oh, okay, that's right. what she's doing right here. So you're going to do that. So it's 25 pounds of flour. 25 pounds of flour. Yes. And she's going to bread, bread and mix with our spicy bread and mix. And it's a secret. This is where the secret ingredients is for the hot and spicy. She moves it 20 times. She yes. keeps basically like folding it over and over. She's going to sift the flour twice. So it's going to pop down into the bowl. Put the butter on here. Oh, so in there? Okay, perfect. Yes. So to ensure that the ingredient goes through. Yeah. Mm, yeah, the color is different, right? Yes. It get more, it get yellow. Right now she's ensuring that the both flour and the spicy bread it makes is mixed properly in together to ensure that everything is properly proportioned. Yeah, so first it was flour and then it was flour mixed yes. with spices, right? So then it was like white and then yellow, and now it's more yellow, yes. right? So it's going through and it goes through to the very end sifter, now, yes. the sifter. Yes. 
it separates the dough balls into the smaller container and the flour that is properly sifted is in the bigger container. Now that the flour is ready, she's going to add the chicken. Yes, she's going to add the chicken. I must ensure that the chicken is under 40 degrees. Okay. Right, so the chicken is at 39 degrees, so it's at the proper temperature for us to prepare the product. That's cold, huh? Yes. Really cold. So this is for sandwiches? Yes. Our chicken sandwiches. And how do you fry this one? Because you go all the way down? It go all the way down and this cooks for seven minutes. Okay, but it's not a pressure one because no, it doesn't have a top. No, okay. So this is the open fryers. They are open fryers because they don't have a top. So what she did there, she cleaned all the extra juices before she put it into the batter? Seven times. Seven times? Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And you clean it? So many times do you do that? Ten. Ten. You roll it back to ten times. Then you go back to seven again. So it's clean it for seven times, ten times, seven times. Yes. The bones outside mm -hmm. so that it can cook properly. This is the way it works. Chicken's ready, it's marinated. She puts it into this container, lets the juices come out, throws it into the flour, into the spices. She moves it seven times, right? Scoop and fold seven times. Scoop and fold seven times. Then she puts it back into the little little bucket, right? She submerges it. Bucket, yeah. And then you, like, I guess move it around ten times, yeah. right? Ten times yeah. to pull out any extra stuff, right? Yeah. And then from there back into the flour, seven more folds and scoops, or scoops and folds. Yeah. Then it's ready to go. Yes. And then we fry for how many minutes? We fry for 14 minutes. So 14 minutes and then this is done. Hot and spicy, can't wait. My lips are like salivating. I can't wait. Original's finished? Yeah. Pressure fryer slowly. This is actually scary to me. You don't want to eat this when it's really hot. You gotta wait a few minutes. Beautiful, hot and spicy, huh? This is the original's. Original's chicken. Oh wow, this looks amazing. I need a sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. I'm eating everything. Give me a little bit of everything. I can't wait to try it all. And the fries, they drop it in there for three minutes and 15 seconds. Everything here is exactly calculated so they never mess up and nothing's ever different. Always consistency. Consistency is the key. So what are you adding? Table salt. Oh, just table salt. That's all we add to it, right? Three minutes, 15 seconds. Comes out of the fryer. She tosses it in here. She throws table salt. She uh, moves it around, you know, mixes all the salt. Yes. And then ready to go for any orders. She's making a cruncher sandwich, mm -hmm. right? The cruncher sandwich is a Thai meat sandwich and it is breaded in the spicy breading that we prepared earlier. We serve it with a sesame seed bun with normal mayo, lettuce, right? And it is not as hot and spicy, so it's a mild sandwich like the original recipe sandwich. So it's a sandwich that not with much spices. We just dropped in the hot and spicy. It takes 16 minutes and this is not pressure cooker. No, open fryer. Okay, so the only one that's pressure cooker is the original. The original chicken. That's the only one? The only one. Okay, got it. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so what are we trying today? Everything. Everything we're trying. Everything. Gotta try that sandwich. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. I can't wait. Yes. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate yes. it. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. My friend, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Amazing, I can't wait, I can't wait to eat. Thank you guys, thank you. All right guys, we are ready, I'm excited. Jillian, what do we have here? Here we have our original recipe, Secret Hoop 11 Herbs and Spices. Mm -hmm. And here we have our hot and spicy um, chicken on the bone. Oh wow. we call COV in KFC, right? So this was developed, born and bred in Trinidad and Tobago, but this is the Colonel's Original. So let's go with this one first. Okay, so Colonel's Original 11 uh, herbs, and, herbs spices. and spices. Yes. We don't know what that is. You don't know what that is. Here original it is. So what do we have? Breast, yes. we have drumsticks, yes. nice and crispy. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tastes so good. No matter where I am in the world, I feel like I'm in Kentucky. Right. <laughs> I'm taking a bite out of this. The Colonel would certainly be proud of us, right? Mmm. Oh, so juicy. That meat, mmm, I love the crispiness, right? The batter. So this is the one you can find in every single KFC around the world. All over the world, yeah. Correct? Mm-hmm. I think in Miami, you would have something called ETC, mm -hmm. which is extra crunchy. But what we have 
is by far more than extra crunchy. Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, I love this. I eat this every day, you know, fried chicken. We'd love to have you every day. <laughs> I know you would, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. And if you apart. want, you could try it with our, um, what we call pepper sauce. We, condiments is a big thing in Trinidad. And the pepper sauce? Yes, hot sauce. Let's just get some of this. Yeah. Be careful with that. Is it that spicy? Well... Oh, wow. All right. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like a, like a glazy spice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, it is spicy, mm -hmm. but I need some more. Right, it's very what we say, Moorish. Moorish. <laughs> Moorish is a term they say for more, 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 right? Right. Mm. That's good. I mean, it's not killer. I'd say in spice level, probably a seven or a six. It's doable. It's doable. But I think it's doable because it's original. Okay. Because so. because this is original. So oh, I jump on that. Let's go here. I guess I'll grab this one. Look <laughs> at this beauty. Wow. So hot and spicy. Yeah. Let's see how hot it is. Let's go. You may need a few bites. Mm. Doable. Doable. I'm starting to feel it, but it's not killer. It's definitely not this. Right. This is like, it's hot. Mmm. So basically, same as original, but a little spicier. Obviously without those 11 herbs and spices, right? That, unfortunately, I can't say. Okay. Mmm. It's all a secret. Mmm. But you see the difference here? You actually see the spices. Okay. In here, this, this orangey is all the spices in here as well. So let's try a Trini way of doing our sauces. So you have your ketchup. Let's go in with a little bit of that. Let's try some mustard. You're not Trini unless you go in with that pepper sauce. There we go. Yeah, Trinis love their spice. Fresh. What a mix of colors, so vibrant. Yeah, so there we go. So now you try Duncan, I'll see you in there. Chicken on the bone. Look at that mix, huh? It's gonna be spicy. It's gonna dip. All right, all three sauces. Mmm. Mm. Mm hmm Oh yeah. So why have one when you can have all three and have it all together, right? And you have to. This is amazing. What yeah. a combination. Yeah. Oh, I love the the, the pepper, man. Oh, I, I see you're feeling yes, it. Yes, right? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Isn't that yummy? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I love the ketchup's very different from the ketchup we have it's in the States. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. Your ketchup is very tart. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's more like watery, right? In terms of like consistency. Yes. Watered yes. down compared to other ketchups. Yes. Look at that right there. So it's very, very easy, very palatable. Mm hmm. It's so good. I mean, the combination is great. I've never tried this like this. And this is, I'd say it's one of my favorite sauces. I am not. Yeah. I think you've been in Trinidad for a long time, so mm. you're fully immersed in our culture, right? You bring me more of that. <laughs> Don't give me too much like more. We <laughs> had uh, white meat, like a side breast. <laughs> We're all about spice here. <laughs> right? Yes. I so, love it. So what we have here is a bit of our sides. Now, I didn't bring you all because I know we have a lot more to go, right? For sure. So we have some of our, our famous fries. I mean, you can't have chicken without chips, right? Mm -hmm. As we see in Trinidad, chicken and chips, right? Right? Mm -hmm. We also have our corn on the cob. Corn and cob. We have, yes. Nice and hot. Ooh, yeah. still super hot, I feel it. Talking about hot, these are our biscuits as well, straight out of the oven, so oh. freshly baked every time. And um, if you want a little bit of a chill, we have some Trini coleslaw. Trini coleslaw, yeah. perfect. So I'll tell you, I love biscuits. One of my favorite things on the planet is to put chicken inside and then put syrup inside it. Yeah. Yes, like that that, that's good. some real stuff. Let's do that next Let's time. Let's do that <laughs> next time, next time. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna Break it up a little bit. Look how beautiful and fluffy it is outside. Golden brown. They added some more butter at the very end, right? Correct. Oh, it's great. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. So fluffy. This takes me to like the dirty south of the United States. Like mm -hmm. Mississippi, Louisiana. This is where it takes me. gravy on it. That's it. You tell me, you know. Like what is this? That's a little crazy, but. Mmm. 
I love this mushroom, by the way. So it reminds me, like I said before, like of Dijon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it reminds you of that. It does. Mm -hmm. Turn the spice. Slight kick to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have that fruit that kick with that pepper sauce, right? Exactly. Very nice. The mix is amazing. You definitely should try the mix. Now I'm going to try some of the fries. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Perfect amount of salt, right? Perfect amount of salt, I was going to say. And they're not too crispy, they're just right. I always grab multiple. Right? Like that. One is just not enough. No. It takes too much time to get some. Never. Mm hmm. This combination is great. Yeah. And now. The coleslaw. Mm hmm. So nice and chilled. Let's try it with a warm biscuit. So on top. Why not? Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Like coleslaw on a biscuit. First time I'm trying this. Yeah. Like this. Mm hmm. Mm. Two temperatures coming together. Mm hmm. Hot and cold. Crunchy. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. This is great. Yeah. This is amazing. This is like a Sunday afternoon for me. Right? Isn't it? It is actually Sunday afternoon. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I forgot the day. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like this. It's a little moist, right? Yeah. Some of them are too dry, some of them are too wet, you know, are too, yeah. too moist, right? Perfect combination. This is a perfect combination. It's not too much mayo, yeah. right? I think this is great. And you get that crunch from the, um, from the cabbage, right? Mm-hmm. Me, coleslaw, and like barbecue ribs. Super. Mm-hmm. And lastly, Let's from the sides. Bite into this corn. Yes, this corn. So super buttery. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, so buttery. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a big corn guy. It's one of these foods that, even though it doesn't have that many good properties for you, right. it's really addictive. You know, in South America, they have a million variations. In Peru, it's like forever in terms of yeah, corn. You have the Parmesan and everything on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. My favorite are Choclos, the big, big ones. Yeah. But this, I grew up with this. My mom is from Venezuela. Oh, nice. So we always had this, you know. Yeah. Perfect with some butter. Home as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> it's like popping. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh man, so moist. That's delicious. This is a zinger. The zinger. Yeah. So the way you know it's a zinger is this uh, the three lines, right? Right. So the zinger is a sandwich made with a white meat fillet. So no bone. Mm -hmm. right? So it's easy on the go meal. Our version has lettuce and mayo. So it has that perfect amount of creamy mayo to it. Mm -hmm. So it just makes the perfect bite. Uh, and the zinger is also spicy, marinated and not spicy. You know what I like about this? No tomato. I actually don't like having tomato on me it. Too, it makes me it, too. it it's just watery, you me know? Too. It just gets when in I it. I want my vegetables yeah, on the side. On the side. Not with this. Right? Let's go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another version I love mm -hmm. is like, um, Is that cool so that you love? Okay. Let's try a little bit on top of that. Well, I took a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> took a while to get through that one. Here, okay, you ready to put it on top? So you get a little bit more vegetables in there. Mm -hmm. A little bit more uh, mayo as well. Perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. What did I tell you? A bit more refreshing. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Mm. Now I finally got to the middle where we have the mayo. Now it's nice and creamy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So while you um mm. bite on that, I want to tell you that Trinidad and Tobago, we are very proud people. Mm -hmm. And we are very proud that this actually came from Trinidad and Tobago. So it I was actually it. in 1984 that we developed the sandwich. And it's now available in over 100 KFCs in the world. 37 years old, this, this yep. invention. 37 going on 38. I know, because I'm 36, I'm 85. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't tell you my idea. No, don't tell me, <laughs> don't worry. You never ask a woman her age, so. This is amazing, yeah. like, I love it. Wow. So, bone nice. and bread, just like hot and spicy, mm -hmm. so it was always like a sandwich. Yeah, so you have a I'm lot of meat, of it. you have a fluffy bun, yeah. you have a light mayo, light amount of lettuce, and then... Exactly what you want in a chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. mm. Add this. 
So today I'm going to town. I'm really enjoying myself. Mmm. Mmm. We have more, right? We have lots more. Lots more. Now that you've had our world famous zinger and our hot and spicy, what I told you is that we are very proud. Um, Trinis are very, very proud. And we're very proud of our culture. So I just wanted to share something with you. We are very proud of our carnival, right? And we also invented the steel pan. So I just wanted to give you this. No, it's for me? Yeah. yeah. No. See here is our bucket with a steel pan on it. This is amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, you didn't have to do that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Carnival. Yeah, thank you for visiting uh, the world famous PS. No, no problem. Next year I'll be here for Carnival. For sure. I'll be for here. Sure. Like 100%. Yeah. We're already planning it. Nice. This is great. <laughs> You're awesome, by the way. <laughs> She's great. It's great. I can't wait to put this on. <laughs> so, David, time for the grand finale. Okay. You can't have um, lunch without dessert, right? Let's talk. N nothing without dessert. Right? Yeah, so let's go in for some sweet apple pie. Ooh, it's gonna be hot, right? It's gonna be super hot. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that Ooh. steam. Look at that. Ooh. It's still so hot. <laughs> I'll put this aside. Okay. Ready? Right, let's go. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's too hot, right? It's too hot. It's hard to enjoy when it's this hot, but let it sit there for a little bit. Let it steam out. Oh, so good. L nice and flaky. Lots of the good layers here. You know what I love about this? Gooey, right? Just coming out, like oozing out. And if you want to take this home, throw a vanilla ice cream scoop. Right? Right? <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do it. Mmm. It's good. Very nice. Mm hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Feels like one of these, like, uh, like one of these pastries, right? Very nice. Let's let that cool for a little bit. We're gonna eat that later. But thank you so much for the opportunity. This is amazing, guys. KFC in Trinidad is completely different. What is the biggest difference? Well, they just told me that every single chicken that they cook here was brought in daily. Nothing's frozen. Fresh. Fresh, Fresh homemade, hand breaded every single day. It, like the Colonel said, we didn't do things the easy way, we did it the hard way. The hard way. Hard way. Hey, love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Guys, when you come to Trinidad, please come to the KFCs. They have 60 locations, I mean, completely different. I think it's the pepper. That's what makes the difference for me. Super juicy. Oh man, what a meal. And I have one to take home with me, so. Good, good, good. <laughs> so David, you're gonna join us next year for Carnival, right? 2023? Yeah. So sure. just remember that after you finish that fest, after you had all that alcohol in your system and dance the night away with our famous soca music, where do you go? You need to make sure you hit up our KFC. It's the best after party food that you'll ever have. Thank you so much. It's been real. It's been real. She's awesome. <laughs> all right. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Trinidad. All right, I'll see you later. Good evening, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful San Fernando in Southern Trinidad. Today, I'm going on a street food tour of The Cross. The Cross is an awesome street that's full of vendors. There's like 25 different vendors here selling everything. Chicken wings, burgers, gyros, and tonight I'm here with Randall. Randall, how you doing? Hey, what's up, man? Very good, you? Okay, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna check out Naldo's Peri Peri Grill. They have amazing Peri Peri chicken, burgers, hot dogs, you name it. Where are you going to try it? By the way, so this is Randall and Melina. And you guys have Rendalina yeah. Reviews, Rendell, right? Melina, Rendalina. Perfect. By the way, your name's beautiful. My daughter's name's Melina. Oh, thank oh, you. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Amazing. Well, guys, so let's go over to Nando's? Yeah, Nando's, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Naldo, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Very good. What are we doing tonight? Right, so we're here. Um, yeah, Naldo's Peri Peri Grill. We specialize in Peri Peri Chicken, a South African style Peri Peri Chicken. Um, so we have the Peri Peri Wings, Quarters, Leg and Thai Breast and Wing. Okay. We have a range of sides, Cajun fries, mac and cheese, mashed potato, cornbread, um, press salad. And then we do all the special food burgers, the skyscrapers, six dogs burgers, chicken burgers, uh, loaded hot dogs. Perfect. Good, good stuff. So you do everything here. Everything. Yeah. I think I want some uh, some Cajun fries. No problem. Cajun no problem. fries, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Prairie chicken. 
Yep. Okay, let's do it. How you want the mild, medium, hot? How you want the spice? Surprise me, dude. Surprise me. <laughs> so I'm inside the truck and here we're making some burgers. Look at that. Spicy burgers. We got some bacon. We have some eggs. Over here, the chicken wings. And look at this chicken uh, sandwich with pineapple, right? Right there? Yeah. And right here, we're doing our chicken wings. So what are these? What sauce is that? Um, the peri -peri sauce. This is the peri-peri. It's super spicy? It's a little spicy. We don't do it too spicy to accommodate everybody. Okay. We don't do it as spicy, but if somebody wants it spicy, we could do it really spicy. Well, in Trinidad, everything's a little spicy. Yeah, <laughs> so chicken wings, over here we have uh, some burgers, right? And then over here, more burgers. Oh, it's like coating it even more, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that peri-peri, my gosh. Wow. That's a huge burger. Here we go, the Perry chicken, a little spicy, right? And Cajun fries. Oh, wow. That wow. Looks amazing. That looks incredible. That so, looks what do we have here? We have a few different sauces. Yeah. We have some seasoning on top, right? right. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Not too spicy. No, not too mm. bad. Nice and creamy. Smoke it too. It's like a barbecue. So we have a guava barbecue. Guava barbecue? barbecue. So all of them here is a curry. So we have guava barbecue, a curry, a yoli, a lemon, a curry, and then the mild to medium curry. Guava. Nice and sweet. Mixed with spice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, mm -hmm. A little charred. And you know what's the funny thing? I eat this every other week. And it's always tastes amazing every time. Yeah? Yeah, it's blew my way every time. Like, what? Every time. Oh my gosh, I can eat this forever. Wow. <coughs> that was like light breading. Mm hmm. Wow. This isn't real good though. It's really good. <laughs> Sorry, when I stop talking, it means I'm enjoying, you know? Mm hmm. At the bottom, we have the fries. Right, it's so a Cajun fries. Yeah, tell me what you think about the Cajun fries. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Now they're soaking up all the sauces too, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it makes it even better. Not too spicy. I mean, I would say in terms of spice level here, probably like a five. Mm -hmm. It wasn't killer. So you think it could handle the, the hottest one now? You say this is a five. You think it could handle that then? I don't know. And this is mm -hmm. mild. This is mild. Mild yeah. and medium, hot, extra hot. I mean, I want to know. Oh. You know what? Maybe at the end, I'll try extra hot. Okay, nice. Right? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. so I don't destroy my palate right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh, I love these fries. Oh my god. So they're not too crispy. They're. <clears throat> wow. I feel in the Cajun now. Yeah. But I feel like the mix is great because it's a little hot, a little sweet, super creamy. Mm. I mean, it's not like the typical barbecue we have here in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. it's spicy. It, you know, like you're literally chewing up the bone. And mm. it's not the meat falling off of the bone. It's like, I don't know. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. I don't know about you, but I'm going to continue. Now, yeah, you can go ahead, man. Mm hmm. Because, mm. I mean, you visiting. Try it, enjoy it. Mm hmm. Understand? Wow, just literally fall off the bone. Look at that. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> That's like your chicken wings. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, where to next? All right, so, well. We are going to uh, Irie Dogs. We're gonna try some of their hot dogs and their burgers. Hot yeah. dogs and burgers. Yeah, yeah, it's really awesome. So chicken stuff. wings, the hot dogs and burgers. Yeah. Okay. Wow, guys, you definitely have to try these if you want to go spicy. Go to the next level. This is amazing. Oh. Night street food tour here. Look how many people there are. So many people, and so it's a pedestrian street slash cars. Yeah. yeah. Cars are coming through one way, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, I'm like back in the day, people used to drag race here. So like a lot of. People started to sell burgers and stuff like that to sell to the drug racers and stuff like that. Okay. And after the government came in and they was like, you know what, let me try to legalize it. Everybody had a rent here and you know they made it a nice safe place to lie at night now. You know? Amazing. Yeah. So and you said that they also do breakfast here. Some of these vendors open for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them do breakfast now. So like, you know, because I mean, since COVID things are all different, so they're able to make more money. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Grill Masters. How you guys doing? Everything good? All right, so here we have the hot dogs and the burgers. What are we thinking? Hot dogs, pork, big man, uh, I don't know. Maybe ivory turkey dogs? What do you think? 
Yeah, well, anytime I come here, I just always try the big man thing. They're really pulling. If you're looking for something to pull your belly, mm -hmm. let's try that to a nice one. That's it? Well, I think we should do one hot dog, one burger. Yeah, we could do that, yeah. Alright, so let's do it. Alright, yeah. Let's go. And let's go in the back. Woo! Hello, hello! How are we open this? Okay, I jump up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good? How you doing? Alright, alright, let's do this. Awesome, very good, man. Wow, look at that burger. So, what are we getting? A beef, turkey, and pork burger. And uh, Big Man Ting, four hot dogs. That's two sausages in the bread. What? Yeah. Big Man Ting. So we're getting one burger. That's all we're getting, right? Burger and a hot dog. And a hot dog. Yeah, you'll see. But the hot dog's in the burger. You'll see. I'll see, I'll see. Okay, okay. This is a Big Man Ting mixed burger. Massive burger. Two patties, two hot dogs. You got the turkey. This is like a chili, basically a chili. This is beef we have chicken. So the burger consists of a beef patty, turkey patty, and a pork burger. That's crazy. What a massive burger. A few different sauces. He added also nachos, more cheese, then a bun. This is going to be crazy. All right, because it's one massive burger, we can't share this. I have to eat this alone. Look, I'm going to try to pick it up. How do you even pick this up? This is just ginormous. Oh my God, it's falling apart. Oh my god. Mm. Oh wow. Okay. Huge beef eyes. How many ounces are each of those? Like six or eight? No, that's about ten, ten ounces. Ten ounces each? Each. Oh, five each. Oh, five each. I was gonna say, this is crazy. Mmm. Oh man. Oh, everything's falling apart. The hot dog sausage. Mmm. I love this chili. It's so good. It's like a Huge mix between a burger, hot dog, sloppy joe, mmm, the nachos, nice crunch. Wow, this is so filling though. Mmm, -hmm. mmm. I love the burger. Love it, man, and all the sauces. It's yeah. like a huge mix here between spicy, sour, sweet. Dude, what a burger. So good. So tasty. What's up with the recipe of the sauces? The meat sauce is mom's recipe, so big up to mom. Your mom's amazing. The burger, is, the burger is like the ultimate mix of flavors, Trini flavors right here. Wow, Randall, a winner. Oh yeah. If you finish it, you can't eat nothing else. No, no, no. I'm going to have more bite. More bite. Mm. So what do we have there? We have the big man ting pork here with our cheese and nachos. Our specialized chili sauce, which is going to enjoy. Ready for that? All that shit. Hey, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. I feel like 10 pounds heavier. <laughs> that was a big burger. Hey, that was a massive burger. Hi. Hey, hello, hello. Hi. How are you doing? David, I follow you on YouTube. No way. This is Chris, I am Pleasure, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, my man. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. No, pleasure meeting you too. You ready to eat that? Yeah, ready for the big man thing. I mean, custom made bun, custom made dog, with our nachos on top and the special sauces. This is the best hot dog you'll ever have. Oh. Oh my god, you see that? Two dogs. Two dogs. You see that? <laughs> oh. It's a massive hot dog. Oh. It's too big. So it's nachos, massive bun, mm -hmm. two hot dogs, two. Ready? Can you, can you do it? Can you do it? I can do it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love the crunch. Mmm. You have a mixture too. Another sweet, a little spicy. Not too spicy at all. Yeah, enough flavor. Mm. Yeah, enough. So much flavor. So much flavor. So good. The bun. It's so big, so fluffy. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It absorbs all the sauce. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> too much. Too much, right? 
Oh wow, 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 wow. Are you dogs? Best of all. Big man thing is the best. You understand? Oh, I understand. Yeah, you understand? I wasn't supposed to eat a hot dog right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate a massive burger. Oh, oh but it's too good. And you know what? It's, okay. that, it's that chili. You know that chili right there? Yeah, oh, you see mm -hmm. that? It's yeah. too good. Yeah, it is, it is. Mmm, mm. warm. Oh. I ate the whole thing. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. It's too good. Okay. Are you doing? Dude, you didn't even have half that burger. Come on. <laughs> that was that? Burger. That was I know. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> you killed it with the hot dog. All right, so, good. so good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm going back in the kitchen. How are you guys doing? The cabin. Here we go. Those fries. So we're in the cabin. As you can see, they're frying up so much chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Over here to the right, we have fries. So it's basically fries and chicken. And don't be so shy, come on. We're in Trinidad, everybody's so friendly. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell me, tell me. Yeah, two minutes are done. Two minutes are done? Yeah. Okay, so what do we have? This is just chicken wings, right? Chicken wings and drumsticks? No, everything, everything. Everything, we perfect. Wow, just checking it, huh? Yeah. Wow, chili flakes, huh? Yeah. And this is our order, we got fries. So we got two pieces? Yeah, of course, always chili paste. And bread, oh, bread. Oh, wow. Hey team, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Don't be so shy, no, so shy. Oh, I can't wait for this chicken. It's gonna be hot though. Here we go. We, we need to have some cabin chicken. Um, one of the great things about this chicken, not, it's from South, it's a home style fried chicken. It's spicy, but they have some amazing sauces. You definitely need to try the Tom brand. The pepper sauce if you can handle it. Let's do it. Let's add it on top. All right, so we got two chickens and fries. Oh, it's still scorching though. <laughs> oh gosh. Ay, ay, ay. Oh yeah, yeah. They say it's the best to eat like this, but I don't know. I don't love burning my gums, right? Ooh, Slowly. Oh, I'll let that sit there for a second. I'll have this one. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm. Mmm, incredible batter. Mmm. Mmm, a little spicy. Oh my god. So good. Oh, it's still so smoky though. Very tender chicken. Very juicy. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Listen in. So juicy. Look. Mm hmm. Mm. How good that looks. And the best thing about here in Trinidad is all the chicken is fresh. Nothing is nothing's frozen. Yeah. Zero. Made to order. It's mm -hmm. hot, steamy. Super steamy. I'm gonna get some fries. Let's sauce it up. Let's sauce it up. Sauce it up. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Uh, you know what? Sauce me up with some tamarind too. Ooh. Yeah, give me that. Mm. Just give me that nice. Oh, so, so good. sweet and spicy. Yeah. Tiny. Amazing. Mmm. Mm. Oh, this deserves more. Oh wow. You know what's awesome is the tamarind sauce is so different everywhere. Mm-hmm. Changes a lot. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Delicious, delicious. Delicious, so hot though. This is the best chicken in salt. So guys, you know what? It's too good. Just add some of this tamarind sauce. Just drizzle it in. Look at that very yeah. bottom. Mm -hmm. So not just tamarind, we're gonna throw some garlic in there too. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna go in and grab. Ooh. Oh, it's still hot. Mm -hmm. You know what I like? I like the fact that you eat with your fingers and you don't need forks. No forks. No. We were born in this world with hands. Yeah. Not with utensils. Yeah. Use mm -hmm. it, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> I mean, what I've learned, especially because people have commented about that with me, is that, you know, in South India, people say, how many people have eaten with that fork? Millions. That's not good. And the mm -hmm. taste changes everything, too. Yeah, where does it go after? Love this mix. Garlic, tamarind. Mm hmm. You want some pepper sauce now? Uh-huh. Go brave, right? Go brave, go home. <laughs> it's gonna be spicy. Yes, yeah, very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. You okay? I'm good. All right. But I'll get some of the tamarind to cool down, right? Yeah, gonna hit you like a few seconds after. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. 
I have, Start I doing it in one, the back. I have one fry. Have one fry. One. Oh, you're getting the one without the pepper. <laughs> Tricks. Mmm. All right, I have pepper. Proof, right? Oh, wow. It's so tasty. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And this is the cabin. It's addictive. It truly is. And the offense like running all over. Oh, the pepper, the pepper, guys. <laughs> I feel it. Oh, water, water. You, you saved my day right now. <laughs> I was like dying right here. Oh my gosh. Are you good? Chicken's phenomenal. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna chug this down really fast and then we're going to a seafood boil. Yeah. Seafood. Let's do it. Yeah. So we're here at Seafood Boil TT. Hold on, hold on. Best seafood, well, I want to say Trin best seafood boils in Trinidad and Tobago. Seafood Boil TT. My boy Remy here, he have a lobster here and you need to try his butter sauce. It's the best thing here. Never taste butter sauce in the dog. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think you're ready for this, and I don't think you're ready. I think I'm ready for this. <laughs> Lobster and butter sauce? Let's go. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, how you doing? So what'd you put in there? Um, it's just butter sauce. It's pretty nice. Lobster. Just butter sauce? Yeah, just butter sauce. I mean, it's butter sauce, but I mean, it's like red. It's spicy. It's spicy. Yeah. It's a spicy butter sauce. Seasoned to perfection. Seasoned to perfection. I love it. <laughs> and over there, what are you making? Some shrimp? Shrimp in the same butter sauce. Basically, got it. Shrimp. Smells great. Wow, that aroma. Wow. Look at that lobster. What a beauty. So you're adding some more of that spicy. Oh, it's tamarind. We're gonna crack them inside. Yeah. Wow, look at that. He's adding some shrimp inside the lobster. All right, Randall, you ready? <laughs> Guys, sorry, thank you so much. I don't think I've ever had like a spicy lobster before. I don't think so. This is the first time for me. Yes. Randall, let's do this. Let's eat oh this. My God. Monster. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Like where? I think the shrimp. Okay. We just grab one shrimp each. Okay, yeah. Right? Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, so succulent. The butter sauce. Mm -hmm. I, I love sauce. this butter sauce. Mm -hmm. It's like that. I would buy this butter sauce alone. I, I think so I would good. too. Just stick my finger in it, right there. It's so good. Oh wow. Yeah. It's like a buttery sauce that has a little bit of spice. Not too spicy. And the perfect amount of spice. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. Oh so well, good. I don't know, you want to get into the shrimp or you want to try this? What, what was this? Is it like wow? Uh, provision. Provision pie? Provision pie. Yeah, provision pie. Let's break it. No? Yeah, all right, yeah. All right. Let's get some of that sauce too. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To get enough, this, right? No, I want this in this one. Yeah, dip in the sauce, right? Move this over. Move this massive lobster yeah. over. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Mmm. Provision is nice and sweet. A nice sweetness. Too. Mm hmm. That's not potatoes, right? It's like a, like a root vegetable? What, what kind of what is it? Sweet potatoes. Sweet dashi. potatoes and dashi. Oh, dashi. Okay, so yam. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. so you have some root vegetables in nice, here. Nice, really nice. Mm hmm. Wow. That's why it's nice and dense, too. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. But uh, how are we going to deal with this lobster? Right? Then we're going to move this in by the way. Yeah, oh my god. And then you have to crack that back. Yeah. Oh my, how many? <laughs> Oh, we stuffed it. Taking my shrimp, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's my food. <laughs> right. How do you open that guy? I have no idea. It's gotta crack him open here. Yeah. Jesus. Let's pull him out. Yeah. Let's just, let's just do our best here. Okay. All right. I hold any tail. Just right. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, and look right here. Oh my god. It's full. Even in here, it's like completely full. All right. All right. Wait, wait, hold on. No, just take out piece. Just rip it out. Right. Like, nice. So buttery. Oh god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hey! Best butter sauce of all time right here. Oh my god. Oh hey, my god. Dude. Like me. <laughs> it just melts. It literally just melts in your mouth. So good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Oh, <laughs> so good. Get in the tail? Wow, the man. Do you need my tail and I'm going on like? <laughs> hey, dude, we're sharing. <laughs> And this is a spiny lobster, right? Spiny? Mm -hmm. It's off of the spines. Here, help me okay, out. Yeah, let me just... Rip this guy open. Okay, right. Okay. There you go. Ah, nice. yeah. Good. And then we get in here. Lobster. Oh, look at that tail. So good. So good. Let's pull as much as I can. Like that. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's too good. I don't care if it's messy. Nice. We're meant to be messy. Mm. 
Hello, Mr. See this again. It's perfect. It's perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> it's so good. Mm, it's like the ultimate spicy last room. Oh my gosh. So good. I don't have any other words. I gotta say this in French, Spanish. Uh, <laughs> je t'aime. Te quiero. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. And then let's go in here and pull more stuff out, right? Yeah. Piece of the yam. Oh, shrimp. Ooh. Shrimp. Love any shrimp. Yeah. Love any shrimp. Oh, I love the shrimp. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what I like about seafood boil, TT? Mm -hmm. Very unique in terms of the cross. It has nothing like this on the cross. You understand? Know, amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. The sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. That butter. I think I'll leave it with this box because. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm full. Thank you so much. All right, bro. Well, Best lobster in Trinidad. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's in shock. Thank you so much. Right. Thanks, Thanks team. Thank you, team. Thank you, team. Ready to go? What we got next? All right, so, I mean, we eat practically half of the cross, so, you know, it's time for dessert and some drinks. All right, so we're going to touch these cake house and we're going to check out Sando TV. It was amazing, guys. It was amazing. <laughs> I'm full. But I can still do cheesecake. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Right, let's do this. Okay. So basically, we have a fusion of cheesecake and the traditional milkshake. So we infuse that together, put it in a cup, and put cream and basically put a slice of a most extraordinary cheesecake on top. It's cheesecake and milkshake, and it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yep. Is she crazy or what? You have no idea. What is this? Now, it's here that I've been. Right. I really don't know how to eat this. I guess start a straw? Yeah, just start a drink. Yeah? Well, I mean, this is your gift for coming down to South and trying to taste their food. Wow. It's thick. Mmm. Oh my gosh, and so I just go into any of this? No, just keep on drinking until... Keep on drinking? Yeah, and it'll just automatically fall in. Oh, dude, I don't know how much I can drink. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another straw, he needs to drink something. <laughs> you have to drink, dude? Yeah. All right, straw. One more straw, please. No, see if I yeah, please. See from the side. Just <laughs> stick it in, dude, stick there's it a, in. There's a, there's a date we have in here, okay? <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that's practically done. It's delicious. Mm. Right, so I guess you can just pick it up because it does not stick already. So what's gonna happen? No, you can just raise it up. I think, yeah, that'll be Raise good. this up? Yeah, and just, yeah, it does not stick. So you can just... Oh, just drop it in? Yeah. Is yeah. that how it works? No, you can drop it in or you can just eat it. Just yeah? eat it? Yeah. <sighs> I guess I'll just oh. eat it. Wow. Ah, how's that? How's that? That's good, eh? Yeah? It's a cheesecake on a stick. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Was it Oreo there too? Yeah. Oh my God. I don't even know what's in here. Uh, it's ridiculous. So decadent. <laughs> and you just drop it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dip it, get a nice little thing, and you could drink again. And be like this? <laughs> Anything you don't want to do. Oh my God. Right? It's Oreos, caramel, yeah. chocolates. You have everything you need. This is like the most decadent. Yeah. You know? I guess shake, smoothie, mm -hmm. milkshake, really. I don't know if I could do this today. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. So, oh, good. so good. Oh my god. So filling. Wow. I mean, if you eat this whole thing, that's it, right? Yeah. That's dinner. That's the perfect dessert. It's the ultimate dessert. Mm -hmm. And they're opening up in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. yeah. Connellsville, Pennsylvania. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I should have had this and that's it. Yeah. The best <laughs> this is too good. Yeah, the best the, best cheesecake in Trinidad. It is truly the best. Um, look at that. Look at that. It is so ridiculous. Yeah. Randall I can't leave this mm. one more bite at least. Yeah, you go ahead now, man. Enjoy yourself. So, oh, it's ice cold. <laughs> oh wait. I think I have to put this down. It's okay. too much. Or place them are here at Sando. Yeah, yeah, Sando. Sando. Yeah, Sando. Let's do instead of San Fernando. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> That's awesome. Gonna, so there's all sweet stuff, uh, drinks and stuff like that. But we're gonna have a hibiscus mint or the lemon blueberry. I'll go with hibiscus mint. Okay, nice, cool. Fred, how you doing? Hi. Hey guys, my celebrity now. 
She's awesome, by the way. She's amazing. I love your tattoos. Thanks. We're gonna get a drink. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> ice in a cup. You're gonna put ice in a cup, huh? Can I show people that? Yeah, of course. Amanda, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's try this. Hi, Miss Mint tea from Sando TT. Perfect. Let's try it. Oh, I love the hibiscus flower. Mm. Yeah, very oh. refreshing. And the mint, very popping, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm. Ah, that's feeling cool. Yeah, it just cools you down, right? Yeah. Especially if it was a hot day, this would be yeah. perfect. Exactly. And my man, Randall, we did it. Yeah, man, David. The cross in Southern Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming to Trinidad. No I really problem. Appreciate it. Tell me something, the food tasting better in South or in No, oh, you're trying to get technical here, dude. <laughs> you know, I'll just tell you, tonight, uh, my favorite thing, I mean, everything was spectacular. Right, right, right. But that lobster, that butter spice sauce was mm. so amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's gosh. one of my favorites, but I have to go with um now uh Irie Dogs, the hot dog. I the hot dog? dog. I love the hot dog. I like the hot dog, the hamburger, yeah. I love the peri peri chicken, the yeah. cheesecake, the yeah. drink. I mean uh, everything's everything. fantastic. Everything. Everything. And there's more, right? There's like another fifteen vendors. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have no time to check everybody else. We but, didn't, we didn't. You know, but we try to check the best and you're not glad you enjoy yourself, man. No problem, man. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, Melina. Thank you again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so guys, please definitely follow my friends here, Randlina. Yeah, Randlina Reviews on all major yes. platforms, yeah? Randall and Melina. Randlina. Oh, Randlina, amazing. Yeah. Guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Yeah, Leave yeah. me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Trinidad. Hey, dude, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm uh, full. Good. I'm full. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Morning guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Today I'm so pumped because I'm taking you on a doubles tour. Yes, doubles is the ultimate street food here in Trinidad. If you guys don't know about doubles, it's basically bara, which is like a batura, and chana, chickpeas mixed with some chutneys. But they don't give you one bara, they give you two baras. That's why it's called doubles. All right, guys, so there's doubles everywhere. It's like a thousand doubles places all over Trinidad and Tobago. We're gonna hit up like three, four, five spots. I have no idea. You ready, David? Yep, that's another thing about Trinidad. You have to learn how to cross the road. <laughs> <laughs> the cars don't care, and we don't care as the people walk it. Morning, how you guys doing? Great, great. Sauce team. You guys make good doubles, I heard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. That's it. Shao Benny, cucumber, chana, slight pepper, and the bara. So let's get the top one right. Go after this one. This is how you do it. This is the pro way, guys. Learn. Almost like a taco, right? Mm-hmm. Hi, good morning. Next one Oh, yeah. I will never get sick of this. And it's so nice. So soft. Oh, nice pepper. Mm-hmm. Real sweet as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. My friends. I am so happy. Thank you so much, guys. This is amazing. Awesome. This is the best thing ever created. Wow, look how soft it is. And then you get in here, and you just fold, pull up, and everything's gonna fall, right? So you gotta be careful. Everything's falling. But it's so nice, look at that, so soft. Texture-wise, like an omelet, but obviously it's made from dough, right? Sauce team, thank you so much. This is amazing. Oh, I love the chana. Mm -hmm. Not too hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little sweet as well. When you go in, get this or this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I love it. This chana is good. This is the pro way. Mm. They don't stop. Literally, every second somebody's coming and ordering a bada. Just non stop. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Mm. Lick your fingers and lick the plate. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Oh, that was so good. What a way to start the day. So, once you're done, get some soap and clean it right here. Just like that, David. Right? You're doing it well, man. Doing it well. I mean, I've had practice. I've been to India. Yes, I was going to say that. <laughs> this is mine. 
Dude, this is great. This is great. So sauce team, you guys make. So you, what are the condiments? What do you have? What chutneys do you have? So, right here we have tamarind sweet sauce, shabani pepper, right? Roasted yeah. pepper, shabani with all pepper and cucumber. So I had all of it, right? Yeah. I, I had the full it. thing. The full thing. Okay. Yeah, cause I feel a little bit of the roasted pepper, yeah. the heat. I already feel it on my tongue. Mmm. And it costs how much for a double? Six. It's six. Six. And you guys also do pies, yeah. and you do triple. So if somebody wants to get a triple bata, yeah, triple. wow, oh, triple bata. Yeah. And what's the average that people buy one bata? I mean, one doubles or two doubles? Average trader, they will buy like two doubles. Or sometimes someone they don't want that flour, they will buy a cup of chana. So it's basically a sanitary cup with chana. And they put their condiment, the condiments on it and they trick it out or eat it out. And right here we have a pie. And is it alu pie? Alu pie. Yeah, so potato pie. Yes. Beautiful, so fill up the same thing, right? Yeah. Same ingredients. Yeah. Same ingredients. My man, thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much, thank you. My friend, thank you, thank you. Bam. So for one US dollar, you can have an incredible Thanks. double or a pie for triples. It's just a little bit more, right? So it's eight. That was fantastic. I love the roasted pepper. A little sweet with the tamarind. Always. Tamarind brings out the sweetness, it brings out the tang. Perfect, so let's go. Yeah, man. First double down. I feel good, I feel great. Oh, this is so good, David. Yes, it is. That's one. <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, the next one we're going to is a, it's a little distance. It's in our Karanaji, which is on the western point of Trinidad. Okay. But to me, he's my favorite. It's a husband and wife team, and they're really excellent. Their pies are excellent, their doubles are great, but it's their pepper flavor, but damn, it's hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can do hot, hot all day. Here, the peppers are, anything in Trinidad that you eat has some heat. It has to have heat. Right now we're driving to an area I haven't been to yet in Trinidad. It's the Western Peninsula, right? So it's like fishing towns. You have a lot of new developments, beautiful coastline. The road is like right on the coast, right? So you can see this is the Caribbean Sea. You have some islands right off the coast. Wow, I haven't seen those. What mm -hmm. are those? Well, we have um, a couple islands. I can't remember the amount. It's about five or six islands that are off. Um, they're like our little properties. Mm -hmm. Some we actually have people living on, wow. but most of them are actually just barren. Just barren wastelands. Yeah, pieces yeah. of rock. <laughs> of rock. Yeah, that's usually how it is, right? Yeah. And so you can come out here, you can get some fish, a lot of little fish vendors. Obviously the fishermen go out for their catch and they're just like small bars, little restaurants and lots of doubles, but we're going to one specific one out here and I'm excited, this is gonna be good. <laughs> you said the pepper's nice. Yeah, yeah, Royal, Royal has great, great, great peppers. You'll see. All right, we made it here. Good morning. morning guys, how you doing? Everything good? Fine. So what do you guys do here? Well, this is Western Peninsula Doubles and Indian delicacies. Um, my specialty is my different sauces, okay. peppers, coconut chutney, we have roast pepper, we have the masala chili, and this here is the mother-in-law. Mother-in-law? Mother-in-law. Okay. Right? Locally, mother-in-law is supposed to be hot. This is made with uh, local ingredients, karaili, garlic, carrot, and hot peppers. So basically mother-in-law because she's supposed to kick you, right? That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> this is like, oh man, I can tell it's hot. Wow, what are the ingredients? Like, lots of peppers, lots of peppers. Peppers, karaili. And then over here you have roasted pepper, masala chili, and then you have coconut chutney. So if you guys want, you can also buy from you, right? You guys sell them, right? Wow, this one looks good too. Masala chili. Ooh. I'm gonna take one for sure. When you're buying your bottle, if you're taking the masala chili, I will rest it here, put it in a bag, and you take it up from there. Because the, the, the tradition is, if I hand you pepper, we are going not to be friends anymore. We will fall out. Okay. So, in order for you to remain my friend, I do hand you pepper. We're going to be friends for life, dude. All right. <laughs> Thank you. The sahina, oh, it's nice. Yeah. This is the chicken compared to the last time we had the whole thing. Slightly before, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They cut and they put the dal on. Yeah, it looks different. It looks more like a... Um, 
Like almost like a like a fritter. A burger. Like a burger. They start serving at 5.30 in the morning. He said they have to get here around you know eight because if not, they'll start selling out really fast. Right now it's nine. They still have a few doubles. So we're lucky. We're really lucky. Alright, let's start. I mean and when you see she lays this out, it's uh -huh. it's pretty. It's really pretty to look, to look at. That is the Tambran. Mm, Tamron. Shadow Benny. And then mm. we're going towards the peppers, right? Yes. This is pepper sauce? Yeah. Mira, give us, tell us. This is coconut here. This is kuchula here. Right. This is rose pepper here. And this is the masala chili here. Mm. And we have the um, marinol here. Wow. Right? Seven condiments. Seven condiments. So all triples, huh? Just like yeah, that's because of all the peppers it is. See the separations? Mm hmm Peppers. Coachella, roast pepper, chili, Coachella, mother in law, everything on top of Shadow Benny, Tambran sauce, and Jana. Imagine that. A whole orchestra of flavors there. Seven. And heat. This is sorrel and Tambran mix. Oh, wow. So, tang of the Tambran, sweetness of the sorrel. You gotta taste this. All right, we're going for the triples. Let's so we're go. We're going for the triple. Now it's triple is three of these barras mm -hmm. and then over it. Of course, because it's a triple, it means that you get extra of everything. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you just pull up this. Look at all that, how beautiful mm -hmm. that is. Oh, wow. It is just a monster. I see you master this. You've created your boat. Look at this. This man is a training. I'm a training now. You're not a training, you're training, you're a training. <laughs> Let's go. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel like coconut? Mm hmm. You taste the coconut, you taste the chilies, you taste the masala, you taste the, the mangoes, you taste the tamaran. You know, you're getting everything there. Mmm. And these are a little more like denser. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, every doubles man is, is a personal. You get light barras, mm -hmm. you get doughy barras, then you can get darker in terms of the keepers in the we are very tribal about our doubles in our area we like to have we always will talk about the ones that we are growing up with exactly. you know in our yeah. area now you just go like this it's just like that that's how you grab a double mm -hmm. eat one of those in two bites two bites two bites very fast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll give you three. You just started. Well, that was. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So good. Mm hmm. So soft, sweet. And pepper, not bad. Spice. Mm. We always have the paper on the bottom. So that's Correct. your plate, right? And you just do it like this. This is real street food. Real street food. Wow. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, no, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're coming into the that area where the pepper was concentrated. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we say, and to wash it down, mm -hmm. we have here a, a personal, um, a personal juice. Mm -hmm. You have, you have many varieties of juices. This one is sorrel and tamarind. Sorrel, sweetness, tamarind, tang. So it's gonna be ultra sweet. Thing, with no? the tang. With the with tang. tang. With you the tang. Taste it and tell me. Oh yeah. Mmm, sorrel. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, a little tang, but very sweet. <coughs> you got a beber. One of those roasted bevers. Oh. Yeah. It tastes good. I love this because it helps you cleanse your palate. Correct. You know? Gets rid of all that heat. heat. Wow, it's good, refreshing, especially on a hot day. Exactly. Today's actually a cool day. It's about to rain right now. Beautiful. I love this. We're like literally yeah. on the street eating triples. It is. And you get that. You get in that aftertaste of the uh, of the tamarind. Mmm. Yeah. The short flavor, the sweetness, and the tang will just back. So the only thing to do is to buy something. So buy something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna buy one of these. What did you like us? I think we saw. I think you would like it. Maybe mother-in-law? Because she's going to kick me. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. But I'm feeling the heat now. I'm feeling that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, right here? Wow. 
So which one do you recommend? What do I take home? I would recommend for you the masala chili and if anything you can carry some coconut chutney. Okay. The masala chili is even hotter than the roast. Masala chili is hotter than the roast, huh? Yes. This is like perfect with everything. So I'm going to take the coconut and the roasted pepper, 30 each, right? right. What, 25 and 30 or 30 each? 30 each. Okay, perfect. So that's uh, roughly 10 US dollars, a little less than 10 US dollars for both. That's right. All right, I'll take it. Thank you thank so much. Thank you very much. And then I have to grab it. My man, thank you so much. Thank you very much for visiting. I'll I hope you. you enjoyed everything. And on your next visit, we'll do something different. Something different. What are we doing? A quad? We'll do roti. <laughs> A roti? Yes. Okay, next time, next time. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so Take much. Care. Girls, thank you so much. Take care. Right, Take care. Good. Thank you. Take care, guys. Bye. All right. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Mina. All right, let's go. Loved that triple. It was absolutely phenomenal. Oh, so hot, though. Some of that heat. Yeah, like, nice. you have to tell her to, like, lower it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, where we're going next? Back to Port of Spain? We're going back to Port of Spain. Uh, we're going to dip into the Digger Martin area, which is another suburb okay. in Port of Spain. And we are going to check out one really great, it's a father-daughter team. And they have a very popular little double stand as well. Doubles all day here. I mean, I, again, there's over a thousand double spots in Trinidad and Tobago, literally almost every corner. But obviously, we have specific spots that we have to go to. All right guys, so the one we were going to is actually closed right now. So we came to another one down the street and it's called Castro's. Morning Castro. Yeah, morning. <laughs> you look great. You look awesome. Castro is one of the staples of Diego Martin, the Diego Martin area. I mean, you have been operating well here for about two years. It's another location in Diego Martin area about tw for 27 years. And then he has been at this location for seven years now. Cashew wow. is again unique tasting doubles. Every double stand has its own flavor, its own taste, and its own pepper. So 27 years at the other location, seven years here, so 34 years making doubles. Well, I'm excited. Let's have a double. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Load me up. That's it, right? It's done. Yeah. Mango. Mango. Not. Oh, yeah, one Oh, nice. Look at how beautiful that is. Mm-hmm. All right, David, so I it's... Should, uh, I should really eat with you. You should? No, you're good, man. You don't have to you eat sure? as much as I do. <laughs> I'm overeating today. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I want to eat lots of doubles. So we have shadow bedding, we have cucumber, we have mango, and we have pepper. And as you see, smaller chickpeas, these, right. and a little fluffier, less oily from the last one. So this is what we do, right? You just go in like that, and you grab. Notice these cucumbers are a bit thicker. Mm -hmm. They're not Julian like everybody else. He prefers to chop his, mm -hmm. and that gives a bit more bite. Mm. It helps towards the flavor as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. What do you think? Oh, it's hot. This was hot. I'm feeling heat. I mean, I'm feeling way more heat than, than sweetness. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Again, pepper is by choice. Mm -hmm. Right? So when you get a custom, you know, we actually say no pepper, slight pepper, medium, or gimmick. Oh, give me it. <laughs> give me it as much as possible. Mm hmm. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. What's amazing is that Doubles has these beautiful colors, right? Super vibrant colors. Chippies, nice and yellow. You got the cucumber, green, white as well. And then you get the pepper that's like that roasted pepper, a little black. And you just fold it like this, right? This is the real way to do it. Basically, think of it like a. I wouldn't say a taco, but basically the Trinidadian yes, taco, it right? Is. Yes. Like yes. that. Oh, everything's falling out. So two bites, right? This is supposed to be a two biter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's go with that. Cool it, correct. Niceness. And you get everything, and at the end, you can literally go in there with a spoon. Yep. Nice. Mm. You're doing well. I'm a true training now. Mm. This is good. Oh, wow. Love it, China. Mm hmm. Literally takes me back to India right here. It does, yeah. Well, you know, our mm. tie into India is really. We are a state of many states. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, yeah. through the years, we have had a, a very vibrant history when it comes to any of the. of those who came as indentured mm -hmm. or those who came to try to conquer. Exactly. Yeah. But they might have left, but their foods stayed with us. Yeah. And we have created our own um, our own style of 
yeah. vehicle kit. Yeah, it's a fusion of colonial, you know, Indian, right. African, even Chinese. French, Portuguese, Chinese, Latin American, they are, our neighbors are coming over. Exactly. You understand? So, again, we're a hodgepodge of, of food. And a flavors. hodgepodge. Of food and flavors. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, man. Well, that was good. All right, so what are we, oh, six? Cash show is still $5. We have had a $1. Rise and double because of the economy, but they have some of our true doubles vendors. They decide they will stay at the original price. Castro, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Right? Boom, yeah. thank you. All Loved right. it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. That was so good. I liked it a lot. Oh, a little sweet, a little spicy. Perfect. Wow, it was actually really nice. I'm, I'm glad he liked it. David, where are we going next? Okay, so we are now leaving the capital. We are leaving Port of Spain and we are heading east. Again, doubles is all over the islands. We did Central, we did South Trinidad, we did Port of Spain, which is the west. So let's go east and check it out. I want to go to Curep. There's a place, Ken's, Ken's Doubles. Um, he is. They, great, they serve great doubles on the spot, hot on the spot, and they also have pies, cheese, bun, and you know, you love your eggplants, so oh, wow. all kinds. So you have a good choice. And all this is on the way to the airport. So I am leaving today. I have to be at the airport in around 90 minutes. So two double spots on the way to the airport. It's a great way to finish my adventure here in Trinidad. I mean, the one thing you guys have to do when you come to this country is eat doubles every day as many times as you can. <laughs> Yeah. I know you guys love it. The Trinis love it here. Oh, it's so good. I don't know how many more I can fit, but I'll try. Ken's Doubles. Ken's Doubles. And this is Ken's Doubles. Where are we? We are in, we are in Kirep, Seven Made Kirep, another popular strip. Yeah. And we are actually coming to Ken's Hot Doubles and Pies. There is not just doubles but you'll see the process of making everything wow so you'll enjoy this here in the back we can see them making the doubles right so doubles, we have pies pies so we have the bowls the bowls mm -hmm. of because usually what they do is they make it at home and they go out early in the morning and they sell and once they sell they're right. done this is different they have it here they're literally making it on all the day. spot all day all day correct yeah so what are you making aloo pies cheese cheese pies yeah. so the cheese pies right beautiful dough she adds the chana she adds uh, some pepper. What else? Some sweet sauce. Ken. Yes. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, how long have you been in business? 18. 18 years. 18 years right here. Right here. Amazing. So, what do you guys do here? Pies, doubles. Yeah. Cheese pies, alu pies, doubles. You know. So, what do you recommend? I guess I'm getting a doubles for sure. Doubles automatic. All right. This is my fourth double of the day. Okay. Fourth. Right. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go in? Oh wow. So we're making doubles? Yeah, doubles. Doubles. So that's the dough for the bottom. Yeah. So all pies, right? So all these are cheese pies and potato pies. Yeah, we also have some potato pies. Okay, perfect. And over here she's making the bottom. So she makes these tiny little balls. Extremely small. Throws it into the oil. Two seconds later, it's ready. That's it. Super fast. Wow, so she's making a million of these butters. To be honest with you, this reminds me of being back in Delhi, India. Batura, right? So it's beautiful bread, right? So you got the dough, throws it in there, and he pulls it out. I mean, after five seconds, pulls it out, puts on the stick, lets the oil drain out, and then he puts it here so it cools down. And then they put it over there in a cooler, and as people come, they just pull out and serve. Literally everything is like five seconds. Quick, quick, quick. Right? Rub, rub it, and go, go. I mean, he, they don't stop, huh? Thank you so much for the opportunity, this is great. These are cheese pies, delicious cheese pies. So if you want, you can go with one, two, whatever amount of chutneys you want. So you want spicy or you want sweet, or you can mix everything like I'm doing, just mixing it all. I need a doubles. Today's all doubles day. All doubles, you good man? Yeah. <laughs> so nice. The people here are amazing. That's how we are. I mean, that's sure that for you. Everything, everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go, here we go. It's too hot? Yeah. Ooh, it's hot. These are hot doubles. Made right here. Hot I know, it's so good. We are eating street food, right? So it's time to get nice and dirty. Love it. Here we go, pick this guy up. Beautiful fold. Oh, this is full. So the good thing is that whatever falls out, falls into the other one, right? Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 
Love the spice level here. Oh, so nice, so creamy. Mmm. Just dip it all over that, right? Keep it all inside. Mm hmm. And then we fold. Pick it up. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Right there. Look how beautiful that is. Remember the technique here. It's two bites. That's it. Two bites. So, ready? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, cucumbers. Love the channel. I mean, to be honest with you, it gets better and better. Each place gets better and better. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. This one's lighter in spice, a little sweeter. Mm, and you have all this chana. So if you have that, you can either just use your hands like I do. I'm going out Indian style, right? Here is Trini style. Mm-hmm. Mm. Here's a way to get double. Mm-hmm. Good, right? I know man. I'm a pro now. This is spot number like 12, right? There you go, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. Back in my hands. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to lick, guys. It's allowed. Oh, dude, amazing. I'm so happy. So good. So good. You know, it wasn't too spicy. A, l a little sweeter. That's okay. For me, give me all the sweetness. Mango, tamarind, whatever you want. <laughs> good, right? Yeah, great. Awesome, bro. Thank good. you so much. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Is he getting a quadruple? <laughs> wow. Now you know when you get out of the airport, come straight here to Ken's Hot Doubles and Pies. In care episode and main road. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll bye. see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Let's go. Oh, that was amazing. So good. I'm hitting a wall now. <laughs> Nine baras. <laughs> All right, guys. It's four down, one to go, and we're actually going to eat doubles. At the airport, the food court. At the food court, at Piaco Airport food court. So, you, when you arrive, you can have doubles, or when you leave before you go, doubles. In fact, I'll tell you a little secret. A lot of Trinidadians, they would take, they would bring bowls, those bowls with a, that, with a snap, mm -hmm. a snap seal, and they would put barra, which is the, the dough, one side, and then you can get, fill your bowl with chana and that is how people carry it with them especially when they're going to, to the states their family members will say you have to bring some doubles so it's not wrapped and soggy everything is separate and it's a great way to carry doubles to the to the u.s that's amazing <laughs> trinis are addicted <laughs> oh yeah hey guys we're here at the airport and that's it the food court is in front of us food court full of doubles <laughs> It's amazing. So there's the food court. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different spots open, and we're going here to S Hanif and Sons Hot and Tasty Doubles and Pies. Too many doubles. Perfect. Too many doubles. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Thank Let's you. eat. Let's go. My man, number five. Let's do it. <laughs> so we are at Piaco Airport. So this is your final double, your last double before you get back home. <laughs> well, boy, I think the doubles will be happy that you're gone because you've been consuming. I, know. <laughs> I would have finished doubles with this country. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got four bites. Right. Right. Okay. So One. Well, what is in this? You know, you're telling me I was there. Dude, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I just have fully loaded. Some, I'm seeing some tambra and I'm seeing chana and I'm seeing, um, of course, cook, cook, the cucumber. And, right? and uh, Benny, right? And Oh, yes. And, yes. Shut up, Benny. So, and pepper. And pepper, of course. Let's go. Mmm. 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 This one's actually lighter. Yeah. In terms of spice, too. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Good cheese. This is from S. Hanif and Sons. They are located. They are one of a few doubles vendors that are, look, that are located in the food court mm -hmm. of the Piaco Airport. So you can land and have a doubles while you wait for your car. Or you, when you're leaving, you can come across here before you go inside and exactly. go to immigration. So if you have a flight like I do, I have a flight at 3.15. You mm -hmm. can get here at noon, like it is right now. It's like 12.15 mm -hmm. and have lunch. All right, let's do it, my man. Let's do it. Last one. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm tasting it too. I'm running out. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all different, right? Some are spicier, some are sweeter. Yeah. Some are more oily. I mean, this one's good. It's, it's good. light. It's I mean, yeah. I think yeah. my favorite today. Mm -hmm. The big one. I think the second one. The one with the spicier one. In, in, in um, Shagarama? I think so. Rolls. Big up rolls. Mm -hmm. mm. So now you guys know. When you're coming to your dog, doubles all day. <laughs> or you can do it once a day. But these are some of the spots, right? I think 13 on this trip, roughly. 13, 14. You are. 13, 14. 26 para. 26 para. But this was the ultimate doubles tour of Port of Spain here in Trinidad and Tobago, the capital. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And please come to Trinidad and Tobago. Explore it like I did. I went in depth. I spent eight full days, two and a half days in Tobago, the rest of the time in Trinidad. And there's way more. If we go to the east side of the island, you got beaches. I mean, it is a big place. And yeah, thank you so much, David. Not a problem. It was a pleasure. Yeah. It was a pleasure for us. And I think I share the words of every vendor that you have visited in saying that what you have done for Trinidad is much better than what we have done for you no, and man. we thank you all we thank you very much for showing the world what we can offer Good. Thank, you. thank you respect to you I'm coming back carnival 2023 yeah that's when you're gonna <laughs> it's start. gonna be crazy <laughs> no before you go you have one more thing to do oh what lick the plate oh my gosh you're right <laughs> boy getting good dinner you know? mm-hmm that's good Oh, but now my stomach is hurting. <laughs>